only 127,000 points. Also, third generation still died due to the ban of ghouls, and Konoha's collapse plan suffered more serious losses than the original book, but it has not changed in general. Adding the remaining 33,850 points before, a total of 153,850 points remain. More than 150,000 Honkai points are enough for the time being. Moreover, the follow-up fifth generation project and the butterfly effect will also have Honkai point benefits. Still acceptable. Naruto quickly calculated the gains this time, and walked towards the Chunin venue in a good mood. Konoha in the devastated village, large and small battles have gradually come to an end. Most of the Sand Shinobi ninjas and Sound ninjas have been killed or captured alive. The whole village presents a post-war doomsday scene, with countless ruins and dilapidated houses and buildings everywhere. Is it over? Then, I should go too. Impure World Reincarnation Solution. Orochimaru came out of the secret base at the root, and when he saw Konoha village that had gradually calmed down from, a flash of remembrance flashed in his eyes, and he shouted softly with his hands sealed together. Then, Orochimaru unleashes Earth-style ninjutsu and flees away. When Orochimaru escaped, the sealed second generation, Kimimaro, White Fang, Hizashi, and Kei's cage turned into filth at the same time, exposing the sacrifices inside. At the same time, in the chaotic village, Fugaku had brought Uchiha Iron Fire and other elite ninjas into the homes of Udatane Kaharu and Mitokado Homura. Ten minutes later, Naruto, who was standing next to third generation's corpse, trembled slightly, and two notification sounds came from his ears. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Udatane Kaharu and get 10,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Mitokado Homura and get 10,000 Honkai points. Those two old guys, didn't they have an accident? A talent of 10,000 points is really inferior. Naruto stared at the corpses of third generation and Danzo, a trace of disdain flashed in his eyes, and he thought to himself. In fact, after seeing that third generation is not as insidious as other fanfictions, Naruto's perception of third generation has changed. However, Medei's green tea attributes did not win Naruto's favor. As the saying goes, what can't be broken can't be built. For future development, third generation and Danzo must die. Naruto has no psychological burden on this matter. Naruto, things here are not something you can participate in. Just go back and wait for the order. Kakashi stepped forward to Naruto's side, patted his shoulder, and said meaningfully. Well, I see. Naruto came over just to see the excitement, he nodded in response to the donkey on the slope, and turned to go home. Naruto has more than 170,000 Honkai points, and now I am looking forward to the effect of the phone booth. The other side after Seiko helped evacuate the audience, he turned around and rushed home. With Makoto's resurrection, Seiko can't wait to see his mother again. Da da da, with chakra wrapped around Sako's feet, with a happy smile on his pretty face, he galloped quickly over the ruined walls of Konoha village. Soon, Zoe returned to the Uchiha tribe. Uncle Yahweh, Uncle Handburning, Brother Shanhuo. It's you who are on guard here. Long time no see, I went home to find my mother first. As soon as Zuozi entered the clan area, he saw a few familiar faces, tensely guarded there, and greeted them familiarly while running. The delicate and charming figure, like a dexterous butterfly, quickly passed by several people and rushed into the clan ground. Just, who was that girl just now? Uchiha looked at Sako's back in a daze, and asked the surrounding companions in a daze. I, I just saw her Sharingan. So familiar with our name, could it be a child of the clan? But why don't I remember that there is a hair of Sanguyu in the clan? The scarlet eyes of Uchiha's medicinal eyes flickered, and two Tomo Sharingan turned slowly, frowning and thinking. Several members of the tribe have disappeared inexplicably just now, we must be more vigilant. You continue to be vigilant here, I will follow up and have a look. Uchiha Shanhuo couldn't figure out what was going on, left a word, and galloped after Seiko. The excited Seiko didn't notice the situation behind him at all, and ran back to his yard after a few jumps. Zuozi pushed open the bedroom door, and saw a familiar figure packing something from behind. This haunting picture instantly made Seiko burst into tears, the tears could not stop flowing from his eyes, and the delicate makeup on his face was also turned into the appearance of a little cat. Makoto, who was tidying up the room, heard the sobbing sound behind him, and turned his head curiously. It was this ordinary turning around that made Seiko, who saw his mother's face again, unable to collapse anymore. Mother, Seiko rushed forward with a stride, hugged Makoto who hadn't reacted yet, and cried. 
like a prodigal son who has been wandering for many years, the joy of seeing his loved ones again. A. Mom. Makoto looked down at the fiery girl with flowing hair in a single ponytail, wearing a glamorous white short gown, and black stockings on her legs, with a dazed look on her face. Which girl is this? Am I at the wrong door? Mom, mom, mom? Uchiha Shanhuo, who came after him, also heard Sako's coquettish cry, and froze in place when he entered the house. Who doesn't know Uchiha, the patriarch's family only has two sons. What's the situation with this pro-admitting girl who suddenly appeared? Could it be Mrs. Makoto's illegitimate daughter? Thinking of such a possibility, Uchiha Shanhuo suddenly broke out in cold sweat on his forehead, carefully exited the patriarch's yard, and left quickly. This is the patriarch's housework, and he cannot casually participate in it. Cough cough. Miss, did you recognize the wrong person? After being stunned for a moment, Makoto came back to his senses and gently pushed Seiko away, coughed dryly, looked at Seiko strangely and asked. Wrong person? Mom, I'm Sasuke. Seiko was immersed in the nostalgia of her mother's love. After being pushed away by Makoto, she pouted and said coquettishly with an unhappy face. Sasuke. When Makoto heard his son's name, his face changed, and then he looked at Sako's appearance carefully. Well, although the face is somewhat covered by makeup and tears, there is still a bit of Sasuke's shadow in the outline. But, what's with this outfit, and the size of her chest? Thinking of the women's clothes found in Sako's room, Makoto's heart skipped a beat. Has this child already developed to this level? Are you really Sasuke? Undeterred, Makoto spoke again to confirm. Zuozi also came to his senses at this time, quickly picked up the towel at the side, and began to wipe his face. Mom, do you see clearly now? I am Sasuke. Seiko raised her innocent and pretty face, leaned close to Makoto, raised her small head and said arrogantly. It's really Sasuke. Makoto looked at this familiar yet unfamiliar beautiful face, his pupils widened, and cried out in shock. Although there are some changes, Sasuke's face shape, as a mother Makoto, is still recognizable at a glance. Zuozi saw that her mother recognized her, and was about to rush forward to continue enjoying her long-lost embrace. Makoto, with a serious expression, reached out to block her action. Sasuke. Mom knows me and your father are sorry for you. That incident also hit you hard, but you can't be like this. Look at yourself. What do you look like now? Go, change your clothes back, and take off that stuff that's been stuffed under your jacket. Starting today, I will urge you with your father on how to become a real man. A trace of distress flashed in Makoto's eyes, but he still reprimanded him with a straight face. Mom, you listen to me explain. Things are not what you think. Seeing this, Zuozi said timidly, thinking of the fact that he had already become a daughter. Explain. Explain what? You are my birth, how can I not know you? Go change your clothes and see what you look like now. I don't know, I thought you were a girl. Sako's words, even with Makoto's gentle character, he couldn't help but scold it explosively. Explain. Explain what? Explanation is to cover. To cover up is to quibble. This is a sign of repentance. Uh, mom, actually, actually, I'm a girl now. Although Seiko was a little shy, he still explained with a flushed face. The current Seiko has been intoxicated under Naruto's flickering goddess system. What's more, she saw Naruto in Kurama mode on the way home just now. Zuozi, who returned from the family, has let go of his hatred and has his own goals to pursue. That is to go beyond Naruto and slap that stupid brother Uchiha Itachi. And, become a fifth Hokage. These are all the confidence given to Seiko by the goddess system. As for the future, Seiko has already thought about it. When she fulfills her dream, if she wants to transform back into a man, she will make a deal with Orochimaru. Learn his reincarnation forbidden technique. If Orochimaru disagrees, then use the force fed back from the goddess system to subdue him directly. Simply the perfect loop chain, female, female children? Makoto's dark pupils couldn't help but widen, and he looked at Seiko in shock and exclaimed. Was her memory delusional? Obviously, she gave birth to a boy. Makoto stared at Sako's attire with a complex expression, as well as the parts that couldn't exist, and fell into deep thought. Such a face and figure are not much worse than that little girl of Uchiha Izumi. Son, has it really become a girl? By the way, did you really become a girl? Do you want to verify it? Mom, what are you looking at? Like I said, the body now is a girl. Stop thinking about it. Seiko blushed slightly, 
met Makoto's gaze out of the corner of her eye, hurriedly covered her skirt with her hands, and shouted coquettishly with a red neck. Vaguely, the edge of the corners of that pair of beautiful eyes seemed to be glittering and translucent. This is the prelude to being angry and crying. He he he. Don't be so nervous, Sasuke, I believe you. I also understand now, what did your father mean when he said you had a little problem? Having a daughter is also a good experience, cough cough. Starting tomorrow, mom will teach you some things to be aware of as a girl. Well, housework and cooking have to start learning too. I don't know who will marry Sasuke from my family in the future. Seeing Sako's expression, Makoto made a 180 degree turn in an instant, covered his mouth and giggled. Zuozi was stunned when he heard the words, and when he thought of the picture of himself learning housework and taking care of his husband and children, he shuddered for a while. She doesn't want that kind of thing, I don't want to learn that stuff. Nor will she marry. Mom, I'm Uchiha Seiko right now. Don't you call me Sasuke, Sasuke. I said before that I used to be a woman disguised as a man, so you and your father should stop talking about showing your mouth. Zuozi gave his mother a big roll of the eyes speechlessly, and said helplessly with a pretty face. Seiko. Okay, I get it. How did you become a girl, can you tell me about this? Mom is really curious. Makoto didn't force Seiko to learn the skills of those girls, he blinked his bright eyes and asked with strong curiosity. This, I don't know either. I just fell asleep and woke up transformed. Zuozi frowned slightly, then quickly unfurled it, pretending to be confused and perfunctory. In the end, she still did not mention the existence of the goddess system. The existence of that thing has become the deepest secret in Sako's heart. Ninjas must protect their intelligence at all times. This is the persistence engraved in the bones of every qualified ninja. That's it. So are we. One second he was still in pure land, and the next second he appeared in Konoha. This world is really amazing. Seeing Sako's frowning and contemplative expression, Makoto said with deep emotion when he thought of the fact that they were resurrected. Seiko thought of the existence of the goddess system, but his face was uncomfortable. She worked so hard to dress up and make up, why didn't she get rewarded again? Could it be that you can't get rewards for dressing up? Then, only psychology, character, strength and other aspects are left. Seiko remembers that rewards are obtained from various aspects, and if you surpass all the women in the ninja world, you can get rewards at different stages. Psychological feminization, Seiko now thinks he can't do it. The character is feminine, and you can barely try it. According to this information, there must be systematic rewards for taking the position of fifth Hokage. Just as the mother and daughter were full of preoccupied thoughts, the door was pushed open, and Fugaku, covered in blood, staggered in. Father. The mother and daughter were awakened at the same time. Seeing Fugaku's miserable appearance, they quickly walked up to him with worried faces. Don't worry. I just got a little injury. Sasuke, prepare yourself. Later, I will visit the major families with me, we must make sure nothing goes wrong. This time is the best time for our Uchiha to become Hokage, and it must not be missed. Fugaku looked up at the blurred two, and said to Seiko who was a little shorter. Due to time issues, Fugaku could only use Mangekio Sharingan to quickly kill Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura. In addition to the previous battle, Fugaku's eyesight has dropped too much. Fugaku, I'm going to get some medicine to bandage your wound. Seiko, you are here to take care of your father. After a quick check of Fugaku's injuries, Makoto got up and walked to another room to get a medical kit with a command. Seiko? Fugaku looked at Seiko strangely, full of burning sensation. Well, Sasuke's name is Sasuke now, she is already a girl. You can't call it wrong. Makoto's voice came slowly from the corridor. Yes. Seiko? Not bad. Fugaku was taken aback, whispered in relief, suddenly raised his head, and looked at Seiko with a determined face. Seiko, how far can you see, your Mangekio Sharingan? How much your eyesight has dropped? Fugaku's current Mangekio Sharingan, not to mention reaching the limit, is not much different. The Hokage lineup, Jiraiya and Tsunade, are strong contenders. Not to mention, there's a perfect Jinchuriki who can control nine tails, Uzumaki Naruto. In order to ensure that there are no accidents, Fugaku has decided to help Seiko possess the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan in these two days. However, Seiko, who didn't know the situation, replied with a full face. Mangekyo Sharingan can also affect eyesight? Seiko, whose body is fused with Hashirama cells, has no experience of this at all. Every time the pupil technique is used, 
the eyes are only blurred for a while, and then they will recover. Father, Mangekio Sharingan, after using up pupils, won't they recover automatically? Seiko, who didn't understand the mystery, looked up and asked Silly. The decisive Fugaku opened his mouth slightly, his pupils widened, and he was stunned for a moment. What's the situation? Mangekio will automatically restore. Did he awaken a fake Mangekio? You, you mean, your Mangekio will automatically restore sight? After being stunned for a moment, Fugaku took a deep breath and confirmed again. Yup. At most, the eyes were a little blurry at the time, which didn't affect anything at all. Is this abnormal? Seiko looked at Fugaku with a strange face, tilted his head and asked in doubt. Fugaku. Night, leaves under the dilapidated village, black shadows flickered among the dilapidated walls, undercurrents surged. Naruto's house. In the small living room, a red telephone box sits on the floor. That's what if the phone booth was up, it looks normal. Naruto stepped forward to carefully look at this, a horror item with 100,000 collapse points, and commented. Naruto, are you really going to do that? Let this world become a parallel world, free from the influence of the past and future? That way, you can't influence the present by changing the past. Unless, you use the phone booth again to revoke this alliance. Doraemon's voice rang in Naruto's ear, and finally reminded. Of course sure. In this world, there are treasures that can travel through time and space. If there is an enemy passing through that in the future, go back to the past and kill me, it will be over. Only when you get rid of the influence of the past in the future can you let go of your hands and feet, isn't it? Doraemon, don't you want to come out early? I am also planning to go back to the past or the future, change more major historical events, break the will of the world, and let you come out. Naruto went into the phone booth, leaned against the edge of the booth, and joked to Doraemon in his body. Naruto remembers the time treasure, plow, of the Otsutsuki family clearly. Otsutsuki or Ashiki, seems to use this thing to return to Naruto's boyhood, capture nine tails. The time seems to be in the not too distant future. The current Naruto, of course, is not afraid of Ura-style attacks. Dare to come, even if he is unlucky. But Naruto still wants to prevent him and go back to the past before he crossed. Thank you, Naruto. Thinking of Naruto to let him come out earlier, Doraemon thanked from the bottom of his heart. Well, I won't lie to Naruto's Honkai points for fun in the future. Naruto didn't know what Doraemon was thinking about, so he picked up the phone and started to operate. What if neither the past nor the future of this world can affect the present? Naruto grabbed the phone handle and shouted into it, then hung up the phone handle and walked out of the phone booth. If the phone booth can create a parallel world separated from reality according to the user's requirements. If you want to return to the real world, you only need to call the phone booth once to cancel. After Naruto finished speaking, if the two pointers on the outside of the phone booth flickered a few times, if the phone booth vibrated slightly, it would disappear. This, is this all right? Why is there no reaction? Naruto looked at the disappearing phone booth, a daze flashed in his eyes, and he murmured indifferently. In Naruto's mind, such a big change will result in some broken points. Naruto, this is what I said before, from small to big changes. The changes you made this time are too big. Although the goal has been achieved, it is automatically filtered by the will of the world. So, there is no feedback crash point. Doraemon's explanation made Naruto suddenly realize. The will of this world, a wolf in fur. After a busy day, Naruto put aside his messy thoughts, lay down on his little bed and began to sleep. Next day, bang bang bang, a messy knock on the door woke Naruto who was sleeping soundly. Naruto, is Naruto up yet? The morning ceremony is about to begin. Outside the door, there was a small anxious cry. A memorial service. Naruto looked at the bed, the clothes that Kakashi sent last night, a light flashed in his eyes, and he whispered with the corner of his mouth raised. Today is the start of the Widow series soon, Naruto, dressed neatly, opened the door and walked out. What caught his eyes was a young and charming little Sakura in a black short skirt. Beside him was Seiko who was also dressed in black, and her long legs under the short skirt were very eye-catching. Because of his body advantage, Zuozi can better reflect the feeling of wanting to be pretty and being filial. Cough cough cough. Stop thinking about it. I'm a serious straight guy, just past the eye. Naruto's gaze rested on Sako's body for a moment, then he turned his head and thought in a panic. Naruto, let's go. Little Sakura immediately came up, hugged Naruto's arm and smiled sweetly, pulling Naruto and walking towards the memorial monument. Damn Seiko. 
What did you eat to grow up and how did you hide it before? Such a handsome Naruto, don't let her take it away. The look in Naruto's eyes just now had been fully seen by the little Sakura, so she took the initiative to embrace him, and said without anger in her heart. During yesterday's fight, Sakura Jr. had the privilege of witnessing Naruto in Kurama mode. At that time, she was so handsome, and at that moment, the little Sakura fell completely, and became a firm incarnation of licking dogs, unable to extricate herself. Is this the character of girls who are jealous? No, for the sake of my father's eyes, I have to try it too. After all, Naruto is also a familiar partner, so there should be no problem. I treat him like a brother. A hint of embarrassment and determination appeared on Sako's face, he struggled for a moment, gritted his teeth, and hugged Naruto's other arm. Last night, after Seiko learned about Mangekio Sharingan's blindness property, and the fact that switching eyes activates the eternal eye, I made up my mind to get the eternal Mangekio Sharingan through the goddess system. Also to help her father, who also owns the eternal Mangekio Sharingan. That's why Seiko made such an outrageous thing. Naruto, who was walking in the middle, was a little overwhelmed by Sako's sudden attack. The boss stared at the blue eyes, looking at Seiko in disbelief. What's going on? The little Sakura on the other side also felt Sako's movements, under the calm eyes, there was a soaring anger hidden, and it exploded like a volcanic eruption. This way, we can go faster. Seiko, who was doing this kind of thing for the first time, was stared at Rumang's back by two fiery eyes, and explained with shame. Naruto. Little Sakura. Seiko, this guy is going to do something. Although your current experience is much better than little Sakura. However, we are brothers, this guy, don't want to. Naruto looked at Seiko with a strange expression, thinking of a certain horrible fact, subconsciously wanted to withdraw his arm. But Seiko, who had already taken this step, subconsciously exerted some strength to tighten Naruto's arm for the sake of his father's eyes. But at that moment and that feeling, both of them trembled, a trace of embarrassment appeared on their faces at the same time, and they turned their heads away tacitly. Under such circumstances, the three of them came to the comfort monument with their own thoughts. Seeing that the relationship between the three of you is so good, I feel relieved. Kakashi's voice suddenly appeared in front of the three of them, and he looked at the three of them meaningfully and joked. No, no. Lil Sakura and Seiko, their faces stiffened at the same time, shouted softly, and let go of Naruto who had a cloudy expression. It's okay, it's okay. After the memorial service is over, I have a task for you. This time, it's a separate mission for the three of you. Kakashi narrowed his eyes, waved his hands ambiguously, and then greeted the surprised three people and entered the team. That child, is Uzumaki Naruto, the son of Kashina. Could it be that Seiko fell in love with him? A stubborn girl, she said she didn't want to get married last night. He he he. Kashina, I didn't expect our jokes to be taken seriously. If it's Naruto, I approve of this son-in-law. Makoto, who has been paying attention to Seiko all the time, saw Seiko approaching with Naruto's arm, and his heart was full of thoughts. The memorial service this time is to commemorate the battle, led by 3rd Hokage, and held for the ninjas who died for Konoha. The invasion war launched by San Shinobi and Yinin really caused us to suffer a lot of losses. But also, in this battle, a large number of young ninjas emerged. At the same time, Uchiha returned to Konoha for some reason. I believe that sleepy leaves will of fire will not be extinguished. It will bloom again in the younger generation. Jiraiya stood in front of the monument with a solemn face, looked at the dark crowd, and delivered a eulogy with a heavy face. Because Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura were killed by Fugaku in the chaos. Jiraiya, the only respected person in the village, was pushed out by those who drove the ducks to the shelves. After queuing up to present flowers, this simple memorial service has come to an end. Call. This feeling is really heavy. Sure enough. I am not suitable for doing these things. Jiraiya, who was the first to leave the scene, leapt to the high platform of the Hokage building, looked down at the ninjas and civilians who were busy repairing the houses, and sighed deeply. Master Jiraiya. Uchiha they are coming. Shiranui Genma walked behind Jiraiya in an instant, and said respectfully in a low voice. What a hassle. When will you be able to collect materials with peace of mind? Jiraiya scratched her messy hair and yelled in annoyance. Genma Shiranui, who has known Jiraiya's nature for a long time, is no stranger to this. I said you guys, haven't you already discussed it? Seiko is too young to be Hokage right now. Let Naruto and Seiko invite Tsunade back to the village. 
Tsunade agreed to let her come back as fifth Hokage, and Seiko was trained as sixth generation. Tsunade disagrees, so let you, Uchiha Fugaku, temporarily act as fifth generation. To show fairness, the rest of us don't get involved. Do you have any more questions? Jiraiya turned to look at Fugaku and the others who were coming, and shouted in dissatisfaction. Before the memorial service, after many discussions, Uchiha Fugaku and the Konoha Janin congregation headed by Jiraiya reached this agreement. Seiko was indeed recognized by first generation, but she was too young to convince the public at all. Looking at the five major ninja villages in the ninja world, there is no ninja who takes over Hokage at the age of 12. What's more, the other party is just a new chunin. So, there was that agreement. That's right, this Konoha collapse plan caused Konoha to lose a lot of genin, a lot of chunin, and a small amount of janin. Uzumaki Naruto, Uchiha Seiko, Nara Shikamaru, Hayuga Neji, Rock Lee, Abarame Shino, the six genin who performed well, were promoted to chunin after everyone voted. Among them, Nara Shikamaru, Hayuga Neji, and Abarame Shino were promoted through extraordinary battles. No, we have nothing against that agreement. I'm just here to talk about the issue of the Uchiha tribe. Before, because of the Nine Tails Rebellion, third generation forced us to move out of Day Center. The current Uchiha clan land has been dilapidated after many years of desertion. Now, Konoha Center has been destroyed in many places. Just in time for rezoning as Uchiha clan land. Fugaku took two steps forward, looked directly at Jiraiya, and slowly explained why he came. Because of Sako's non-cooperation, Fugaku couldn't give Seiko a pair of eternal eyes, guaranteeing that there is no cure. Therefore, Fugaku reluctantly accepted the agreement. Uchiha is to do Konoha's Hokage, not to destroy Konoha. Regarding the opinions of Jiraiya and Konoha Janin, we should pay more attention to them. Of course, Jiraiya reciprocated and did not pursue Uchiha Fugaku's killing of Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura. And let Uchiha control many important departments of Konoha. Fugaku killed Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura, although he did it in secret, but Jiraiya knew with his ass that Uchiha did it. This, I have no opinion. Negotiate with the original owner yourself. Jiraiya thought it was some accident, and when she heard this request, she breathed a sigh of relief and said casually. The rise of Uchiha is already inevitable. Jiraiya doesn't care about such a small matter. He is only in charge of the overall situation temporarily, and the rest will be handed over to Tsunade. Jiraiya still has a little doubt about whether Tsunade will return to Konoha. Well, Jiraiya is not sure either. Master Jiraiya, if you don't have an opinion, that's fine. That's it. Fugaku secretly heaved a sigh of relief, and replied in a deep voice. The third practice field. What? Want us to find Master Tsunade, one of the Sanin? Kakashi Sensei, won't you go with us? That Tsunade sama, we don't know each other either. Little Sakura yelled with a bitter face after hearing the task assigned by Kakashi. Naruto and Seiko also pricked up their ears and looked at Kakashi in surprise. This task was something neither of them had thought of. Ahem. You also know that Konoha has been hit hard now, and the village is short of manpower. Therefore, this matter can only be entrusted to you. Although Naruto and Seiko are only Chunin, their strength has far surpassed Janin. You are the most suitable for carrying out this A-level mission. Kakashi took out a mission scroll and gave it to the three of them, explaining earnestly. Kakashi sensei, you just said that Naruto and Seiko are chunin? Have they already? The school bully little Sakura immediately grasped the point, looked up at Kakashi suddenly, and asked with a keen sense of smell. Well, that's it. Naruto, Seiko, congratulations on your promotion to chunin. This is your chunin vest. Kakashi patted his head pretending to be forgetful, took out two chunin vests out of nowhere, handed them to Ming Zuo and laughed. That is true. Naruto, you are amazing. Little Sakura snatched a chunin vest, and happily grabbed Naruto's hand, with a blush of excitement on her face, and shouted happily. That look makes me happier than she was promoted to chunin. Little Sakura, this guy is too much, I really can't do such a thing. Seeing the excitement of little Sakura, Seiko silently took the chunin vest and said speechlessly. Okay. Now you go back and pack your things, and you can go. According to Master Jiraiya's information, you should go to the casino more often. As long as it is a beautiful woman with blonde hair and green clothes, no matter how old she is, she can be Master Tsunade. Beside her, there should not be a dark-haired woman following. Your time is only two months. 
if you can't find it in two months, you can come back directly. Kakashi added the information again, and left immediately. There are many things about him now. It seems that this time is a long-term mission. Seiko and little Sakura will gather at the gate of Konoha in half an hour. Naruto thought of the great beauty of Atsunade, suppressed his heartbeat, left a word and hurried home. Small Sakura is a tablet, how can it be as interesting as big Tsunade? I'm going home too. Zuozi also snorted softly, turned around and went home, she was going to ask her father what was going on. These two guys. Little Sakura looked at the two figures going away, and sighed while holding her forehead. But thinking of going out with Naruto for two months, which is equivalent to traveling at public expense, little Sakura became excited again. Well, the only eyesore is Seiko, have you left? I hope they will be successful. Jiraiya appeared on a watchtower in an instant, looked at the faraway seventh class, and sighed with a sense of loss. Well, I also hope that they can bring Master Tsunade back smoothly. By the way, why did you suddenly return to Konoha? I remember, you haven't been back for several years. Kakashi's figure also appeared along with the voice, looking at Naruto Sakura's elongated back from a distance and said softly. Especially Seiko, Kakashi hoped there will be no unexpected action. Kakashi. With your current strength, it is indeed a wise decision for the third generation to instruct you to monitor and protect Naruto. However, Naruto's growth has exceeded everyone's expectations. The purpose of my coming back is no longer of much use. Jiraiya stared complicatedly at the place where Naruto's figure disappeared, thinking of the power of Karama mode, she said with emotion. It doesn't do much. Then what was your purpose before? Kakashi turned his head to look at Jiraiya in puzzlement, his lazy eyes became serious, and he asked curiously. Um, I've been watching Orochimaru since he escaped Konoha village. Because I knew earlier that one day he would come back to the village. At first, I was just wary of Orochimaru alone. Until, he joined an organization called, Shao. I don't know much about the specific information of that organization. The members there are almost all S-rank rebels. Uchiha Itachi, was among them. After Orochimaru left that organization some time ago, the organization formed a team of two and began to collect ninjutsu and some special things in the ninja world. I say that, you dog understand. This, is why I came back. The old and unscrupulous Jiraiya got serious, looked at Kakashi seriously, and explained the situation. Is there any evidence that they are collecting tail beasts? Kakashi's super high ninja quality allowed him to grasp the key point at the first time, a flash of sharpness flashed in his eyes, and he asked in a solemn voice. All I can say is, there is a possibility. After all, nine tails are tail beasts with the strongest chakra. However, Kakashi, don't worry about that kind of thing at all now. That guy Naruto already surpasses me. There is also a Mangekio Sharingan Seiko by my side, so don't worry about safety at all. Seeing Kakashi's worried expression, Jiraiya rubbed his head and squinted his eyes and said relaxedly. Having met Jiraiya in Karama mode at Mount Myoboku, it is clear what Naruto is capable of now. Self-defense is absolutely fine, too. That guy's strength may be the most fishy existence in Konoha now. Kakashi also thought of Naruto's current strength, and murmured while relaxing. To be honest, Kakashi now thinks that he can't beat Naruto without Kamui's sneak attack. At the same time, Uchiha Itachi and Kisame Kisame, who are out on a mission, are starting a remote meeting in a hotel in a small town. Ahem, it's Nagato's magic lantern technique. Just got the news that Orochimaru joined forces with San Shinobi to launch an attack on Konoha. According to known information, Third Hokage died and Konoha was seriously injured. Vermilion Bird, Nando, you are in the land of fire. Go to Konoha to collect information as soon as possible, and if possible, capture nine tails in advance. Rinnegan of Nagato Phantom, looking directly at Itachi and Kisame, ordered indifferently. The white Zetsu avatar is not exaggerated to the extent that it is all over the ninja world. In the later period, it was through Yamato that 100,000 white Zetsu clones were born. Therefore, the Akatsuki organization knew very little about Konoha's information. In particular, the resurrection of the entire Uchiha clan, which Konoha is now a top secret. Morning, yes Uchiha Itachi's heart was overwhelmed, but on the surface he still pretended to be cold-blooded and ruthless. After the teleconference ended, Uchiha Itachi and Kisame Kisame opened their eyes at the same time, packed their things and walked out of the hotel tacitly. At the same time, Obito, who knew about Konoha's accident, also went to Konoha to find Seiko Uchiha. 
He wants to find Seiko before Uchiha Itachi, and capture the Mangekyo Sharingan with suspected Kamui eyes. Country of Fire, a small town, Naruto, Naruto, is it really okay for us to do this? It's been almost a week, and every time I go to a small town, I soak in hot springs and play around. Could it be, too decadent? In the misty hot spring, little Sakura's shy voice came from the hot spring pool next to Naruto through a curtain. Nothing. We still have plenty of time. Let's just relax. Naruto put a towel on top of his head, and said lazily and differently. Naruto, who owns a sightseeing phantom machine, whenever he goes to a small town, just ask Doraemon to use the machine to search a hundred miles around, and he can easily search a small town. This is because Naruto is not in a hurry to find Tsunade, otherwise, a person finding tool will find Tsunade in minutes. Well, he's waiting for someone to arrive. According to the timeline, it should be about the same. Thinking of this, Naruto couldn't help looking at Seiko next door who was also enjoying the hot spring, his eyes flickering. Well, Seiko neither bathes with Naruto nor goes to the little Sakura because of her own conflicting situation. The three of them reserved three hot spring baths at the same time. As for the consumption these days, Mr. Ming will pay for it all. Naruto took out some of Cardo's wealth. Naruto, I found those two people you mentioned. Red clouds and black robes, one of them was carrying a bandaged weapon that looked like a broadsword. Naruto, who was resting with his eyes closed, suddenly heard Doraemon's shouting. It's finally here. A flash of excitement flashed in Naruto's eyes, he stretched out his hand to remove the towel, and got up to get dressed. Naruto, you. What are you doing? The little Sakura next door heard the sound of splashing water from Naruto, blushed and shrank into the water, and asked softly. Naruto, should it be thinking of certain scenes, the blush on little Sakura's face became even stronger, and the deer bumped wildly in her heart. Do you want to be more active? But Seiko, you're still waiting on the other side. I thought about it, little Sakura, what you said makes sense. Let's go out on a mission. Naruto's refreshing voice resounded in the ears of both Sakura and Sakura, making them both stiff. Change, so fast? Little Sakura's enthusiasm was directly poured into a shock. Ten minutes later the neatly dressed three, led by Naruto, headed in a certain direction. Except for Naruto who was a little excited, the expressions of little Sakura and Seiko were all loveless. Small Sakura is because of Naruto, Seiko is purely because of the feeling of being suddenly interrupted to soak in the hot spring. Jingle Bell, not far from the three of them stepping out of the small town, two lonely figures came across. The red cloud robes with a black background and the wind chimes on the bamboo hats, which are standard in the Shao organization, all showed their identities. In particular, the pair of Scarlet Three Tomo Sharingan, that it's Uchiha identity. After Zuozi saw the face of the person opposite, his body trembled, the expression on his face was wonderful, the resentment and nostalgia in his eyes were intertwined. I didn't expect to see you here, Uchiha Itachi. Seiko raised her pretty face, her dark eyes suddenly transformed into the same three Tomo Sharingan, suppressing her restless mood, she said hoarsely. Sharingan. Who are you? Why are there these eyes? Uchiha Itachi on the opposite side, after Seiko showed the Sharingan, his pupils shrank suddenly, and he asked indifferently, and the murderous aura on his body burst out instantly under the pressure of chakra. He doesn't remember that he also spared Uchiha girl with. Mr. Itachi, it seems that in your last action, there is still a fish that slipped through the net. Kisame Kisame stood beside Uchiha Itachi, looked at Seiko with her tiny eyes, and teased with grinning teeth. It's just a mediocre fish, don't worry about it. Uchiha Itachi raised the bamboo hat in front of his forehead, the scarlet Sharingan turned and looked at Naruto, pretending to be indifferent and disdainful. Uchiha Itachi already knew what Naruto looked like when he was a child. So, he recognized Naruto's identity at first sight. Really, Naruto without the beard is too similar to the fourth generation. It's just that now is not the time to reveal this identity. As for Sasuke, her current appearance is 70% similar to Sasuke when she was a child. The characteristic of sex can be the most obvious difference. In subjective consciousness, Uchiha Itachi doesn't see her as Sasuke. Of course, Uchiha Itachi also had no intention of killing Seiko. In Uchiha now, there are only two or three kittens left. A girl who is similar to Sasuke, can just be Sasuke's wife and continue the pure Uchiha blood. If Naruto knew what Uchiha Itachi was thinking, he would laugh out loud. Let Sasuke give birth to a child for Sasuke, this brain hole is really worthy of you. 
Is it a lingering miscellaneous fish? Ha ha ha. Itachi, you're still so self-righteous. What do you think? I am confident to stand in front of you. In other words, your eyes have degenerated to the point where you can't see me clearly. As you wish, I stand in front of you again with hatred in the same eyes. My stupid big brother, you, don't you know me? Seiko was already in a complicated mood, but was instantly irritated by Uchiha Itachi's miscellaneous remarks, and the three Tomo Sharingan in his eyes instantly changed to Mangekio, and Uchiha shouted coquettishly like laughing wildly. This feeling, quite a kind of I am standing in front of you, you see me a bit like the previous posture. Wan, Mangekio Sharingan, you, are you Sasuke? Uchiha Itachi's calm and indifferent mentality was instantly broken by Sako's roar in Mangekio Sharingan, and his mentality exploded. How could his younger brother be such a charming girl? And, still open the existence of Mangekio Sharingan. The three Tomo Sharingan in Uchiha Itachi's eye socket also quickly changed into Mangekio's appearance, watching Seiko carefully. This girl with long black hair, curvy figure, and dressed as a girl is Sasuke? Is my pair of Mangekio Sharingan a display? Naruto, Sako's disguised as a man, wouldn't even his big brother know about it. Is there something going on in here? Little Sakura heard Uchiha Itachi's exclamation, looked at Sako's silhouette with weird eyes, and whispered in Naruto's ear. Uh, forget about that, let's just watch. It was the most critical time to watch the excitement, Naruto made a perfunctory sound, and stared straight at the siblings who were at war. For Uchiha Itachi, Naruto's perception is not too good. Although Uchiha Itachi has his own reasons, he took the lead in exterminating the genocide in order to protect Sasuke. But Naruto disagrees with this kind of thing. Others are going to destroy your whole clan, and you still know this information, why don't you use the poor intelligence to raise your clan to rebel? Only by fighting for peace can we have peace. No matter how bad it is, can it be worse than extinction? As for the war that may be triggered, it is purely eating radish and worrying about it, it is unfounded worrying. It's not the emperor's order, but it's the emperor's heart, the buttocks are all crooked to the moon. Every person or force, no matter when, must see their own position clearly. His hero, my enemy Ko, such a simple truth, Uchiha Itachi forcibly wrapped himself in it. Don't talk about the principles of the Virgin Mary, anyway, Naruto can't understand and accept it. Quack quack. Brother turned into sister. Did you practice some forbidden ninjutsu? Mr. Itachi. It seems that your brother, uh. Weimeyer's hatred is quite strong. Dried persimmon ghost rolled his small eyes, as if he had found the reason, and continued to tease from the side. Kisame, you step aside. Uchiha Itachi looked at Seiko with a cold face, and coldly snorted at Kisame. Naruto, you take little Sakura back. Seiko looked indifferent, staring at Uchiha Itachi sharply, and said to Naruto expressionlessly. I have one more thing to ask you. In the first place, why did you spare my life? Why, that person is me. Seiko, who knew what Fugaku said, turned around and asked loudly. She wants to hear, Uchiha Itachi's explanation. Why? Of course I have my own reasons, you just measure it as a tester. So, can you tell me, why did you become a girl? Uchiha Itachi is still as cold as ever, he is now curious whether the possibility that Kisame said is true. Measurement. What a ridiculous reason. That being the case, then. The test begins. Seiko snorted coldly with a smile back in anger, and raised his hand to attack with a few shurikens first. Seiko still doesn't want Itachi to know the fact of Uchiha's resurrection. She wants Uchiha Itachi to continue living with self blame and repentance. Facing Sako's shuriken attack, Uchiha Itachi dodged it easily. But at this moment, Uchiha Itachi's mind was shocked. The technique of throwing the shuriken is the throwing technique he once taught Sasuke. How can this girl use it? Could it be, this girl is really Sasuke? Uchiha Itachi's thoughts only had time to flash this thought before being interrupted by Sako's next storm like attack. He flipped his hands over and counterattacked head on with shurikens. The two brothers and sisters with the same Mangekyo dance like butterflies under countless shuriken attacks. Naruto picked up the little Sakura in an instant, and he retreated hundreds of meters away. Kisame Kisame also retreated to a place not far from Naruto at the same time, staring at Naruto playfully. You little brat, you look like you have two skills. Quack quack. Do you want us to play together too? Kisame stared at Naruto who reacted quickly, grinning grinningly. You sure? Naruto turned his head to look at Kisame Kisame, the momentum on his body exploded violently, 
and the Mangekyo Sharingan suddenly appeared in his pupils. How? How is it possible? It's Mangekyo Sharingan again. Uchiha, how could so many slip through the net? The arrogant Kisame, as if being strangled by the neck, said in shock with an uncomfortable expression on his face. Kisame, who was repaired by Uchiha Itachi with Mangekyo Sharingan, is still very afraid of Mangekyo Sharingan. Just watch the show. If you don't want to die, you can try. Naruto's Scarlet Sharingan stared at Kisame, with a stern expression on his face. Damn brat. Hoshigaki Kisame cursed secretly, turning his head to stare at Uchiha Itachi's fight. Kisame Kisame decided not to take the risk of fighting Mangekyo as there was no conflict of interest. Naruto, hello. But why do you have Sharingan? The little Sakura who came down from Naruto's arms, with starry eyes and a very charming girl, hugged Naruto's arm and asked coquettishly. Little Sakura, this is really the first time I saw Naruto's Mangekyo Sharingan. Before, only Kakashi, Seiko, Orochimaru saw. It's just Sharingan, there's nothing special about it. If you want, I can give you a pair too, however, you have to be obedient to. Naruto kept his eyes on Sako's fight, not paying attention to the Versailles. Listen, listen. When little Sakura heard this, her brain froze, and her eyes flickered with shyness and confusion. At this moment, little Sakura even thought of the child's name. Are you trying to kill me with the kanai throwing technique I taught you? I admit that you are not weaker than me in this respect. Unfortunately, such tricks can't kill me, my stupid brother, uh. Sister, sister. Uchiha Itachi, after a series of kanai shuriken confrontations, has basically believed in Sako's identity. A flash of relief flashed in his eyes, but he sneered mercilessly on his mouth. Uh. Forgive Uchiha Itachi for the awkward stumble in the middle. Do you really think that this is just a simple shuriken competition? Chidori stream. A triumphant smile flashed across Zuazi's pretty face, and he shouted softly. In the next moment, the thunder attribute chakra on Sako's body exploded, and the place covered with shuriken kanai and other iron weapons was instantly covered by Chidoryu. Chidori Ryu, which is only a few meters long for offense and defense, instantly expands its range to more than 10 meters away under the boost of iron weapons. Uchiha Itachi, who was only about 10 meters away, was instantly entangled by the dry bird flow and paralyzed on the spot. Chidori Sharp Spear. This once in a lifetime moment of paralysis was the opportunity Seiko was waiting for. The blue light of the long knife in his hand extended, and a lightning style chakra extended 10 meters instantly, penetrating Uchiha Itachi's chest. Now you have been paralyzed by my lightning style chakra. Uchiha Itachi, for your crimes. Your Mangekyo Sharingan, I accept it. Seiko stared at Uchiha Itachi coldly, stepped forward with a blank expression and said coldly. Seiko is now unable to kill Uchiha Itachi. However, it is still possible to capture his proud Mangekyo Sharingan. As it happens, it is possible to switch eyes for his father, giving Fugaku the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. As for Seiko, she hasn't considered eternal eye yet. Whether it is the goddess system or the feature of automatic vision recovery, Seiko doesn't have much pursuit of the eternal eye. After Fugaku's science popularization, Seiko, who didn't know the existence of Hashirama cells, thought that it was because of that wish that Mangekyo would automatically restore her eyesight. I am also more enthusiastic about the goddess system. Take my eyes? It seems you already know that. Sasuke, don't you want to know why I keep you? Mangekyo's open eyes will gradually seal itself into darkness as the number of times it is used increases. Only by performing an eye swap with a Mangekyo Sharingan of the same bloodline, the regiment will not lose its light. This is the value of your existence. Sasuke, your talent is indeed very strong, and you have lived up to my expectations of you. However, such eyes are also what I look forward to. Sasuke, you are my spare eye. Just let your eyes become my new light. Uchiha Itachi's paralyzed face gradually changed, and after a moment of hesitation flashed in his eyes, he roared crazily. Wow. Dot wow. Under Sako's unbelievable eyes, Uchiha Itachi, who was shot by Chidori, turned into crows and flew away. Impossible. My Mangekyo Sharingan, make sure that is the real body. How come? Zuozi quickly dissipated the Chidori sharp spear, his pupils shrank for a while, and he looked around warily. Are you there, looking for me? A demon like moan suddenly rang in Zuazi's ear. Seiko, who was nervously guarding the surroundings, trembled violently and froze for a moment. The Uchiha clan was originally a filthy clan that killed friends and killed brothers for the sake of Mangekyo Sharingan and eternal pupil power. 
From the moment you were born in this family, you have been caught in this cruel reality. We are each other's spare eyes. Come, my dear sister. Uchiha Itachi's crazy voice yelled in Sako's ear. At the same time, Uchiha Itachi's hands stretched straight towards Seiko. Is that so? Seiko looked at the approaching fingers, his trembling body suddenly calmed down, and said calmly without fear. The Mangekio Sharingan in her pupil trembled violently, and the figure of Uchiha Itachi turned into nothingness and disappeared. Just now, it was Uchiha Itachi's illusion. Your pupil power is really something I look forward to. I really want to have your eyes more and more, Sasuke. In Sako's sight, Uchiha Itachi's figure appeared more than 10 meters away, and he said with crazy excitement. Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, is it because of this that I saved my life? Ferret, your size is nothing more than that. I despise such an eternal Mangekio. Someone once told me that Uchiha is a family of love. Acquiring the Mangekio Sharingan is not the cause of killing loved ones, but of that lost love. Your understanding of Mangekio is too superficial. Seiko thought of the interpretation of Mangekio in second generation and the fact that his father volunteered to donate his eyes, looked at Uchiha Itachi proudly and sneered. You bastard, now is not the time to be stubborn. Fire style great fireball technique. Uchiha Itachi gave a cold snort of disdain, completed the seal with both hands in an instant, and opened his mouth to spit out a huge great fireball. Amaterasu. Seiko saw the flames close at hand, felt the hot temperature, and activated the Mangekio pupil technique without hesitation. Seiko, who knows that he can restore his eyesight by himself, now uses the Mangekio pupil technique, which is much more presumptuous than before. The monstrous black flame met the raging great fireball in an instant, swallowed the fireball in the blink of an eye, and rushed towards Uchiha Itachi without diminishing momentum. What? Sasuke's pupil technique is also Amaterasu. No solution anymore. Pupil art Amaterasu. Uchiha Itachi looked at the black flame that was pounced on him, and exclaimed, blood and tears flowed out of his left eye, and the same pupil technique was activated. The black flames released by both sides collided in an instant, devouring each other. Seeing the same Amaterasu, Seiko was taken aback for a moment, but for a moment, she seized the opportunity and activated the pupil technique in her right eye. The role of Inferno-style flame control is to manipulate Amaterasu. Seiko released a large amount of pupil power, and instantly controlled all Amaterasu black flames, forming a circle, surrounding Uchiha Itachi in the middle. It is possible to control the shape change of Amaterasu. Is this another pupil technique of yours? It's really a terrifying combination of pupil technique. Uchiha Itachi looked at the circle of Amaterasu black flames, his eyes lit up, and he exclaimed again. Uchiha Itachi, now you are already in my palm. Tell me, who was the masked man who acted with you back then? Did he initiate the Nine Tails Rebellion twelve years ago? Seiko raised his head with the winning ticket in hand, thinking of the misunderstanding between Uchiha and Konoha, he asked loudly. You even know that person. It appears that something is going on that I don't understand. Sasuke, do you think, can this defeat me? Pupil Art Tsukuyomi. Uchiha Itachi stared at Seiko with sharp eyes, sighed calmly, and shouted in a low voice. At the same moment, as Uchiha Itachi's blood and tears flowed, Seiko froze in place for an instant. I don't know what happened to the siblings in the Tsukuyomi space. A second later, Seiko, who was in high spirits, half kneeled on the ground in an instant, supporting his body weakly. Uchiha Itachi, who activated Tsukuyomi, is in a similar situation. Seiko of Mangekio Sharingan, Backlash Tsukuyomi is stronger than Three Tomo Sharingan. It's just that Sako's current strength and will are not as strong as that of the Shippuden period, and the power of the Curse Seal E has also suffered a lot. The two brothers and sisters looked at each other, panting for adjustment. The Amaterasu black flame surrounding Uchiha Itachi also devoured each other and died because of Sako's mental trauma. Almost there. If the fight continues, Itachi will explode Suzano. Compared to watching them fight, I prefer their bickering. Naruto looked at the two people in the field, thought secretly, his momentum changed, and he entered Karama mode instantly. What is that? It can actually make chakra materialized, what a tyrannical chakra. This brat is probably stronger than me. Has Konoha's strength reached this level? If you meet three little ghosts at random, you will have such terrifying strength. If we appeared in Konoha, it would be a narrow escape. Kisame Kisame grabbed the big sword Samahada, stared at Naruto with a wary face, with cold sweat faintly breaking out on his forehead, 
and said with an ugly look of surprise. The big knife Samahata also seemed to smell the delicious chakra and squirmed excitedly. At the same time, Naruto's changes also attracted the attention of Seiko and Uchiha Itachi. Oh, nosy fellow, I haven't reached my limit yet. Knowing this state, Seiko showed a trace of emotion on his pale face, pouted his mouth arrogantly and snorted coldly. It's just that the slightly raised corners of the mouth seem to reveal something. Sako's current strength is still far from that of Uchiha Itachi at his peak. In the battle just now, Uchiha Itachi only used the Mangekyo pupil technique in a hurry, so he appeared exhausted. But when it was time to fight desperately, Uchiha Itachi's burst of fighting power was definitely the existence that crushed Seiko. As for Seiko, it was almost the limit. Her current strength is only at the level of elite Jonin. Backlash against Tsukuyomi is not as simple as it seems. Nine Tails Jinchuriki, has it grown to this point? Although I don't know what that state is, but at this age, with such strength, it is definitely a gift for Nine Tails. Then, test his strength again. If you can, you can leave your eyes to Sasuke with peace of mind. No, I will take the opportunity to retreat and talk about it in two years. Uchiha Itachi looked at Naruto in the golden armor, adjusted his breathing slightly, a flash of determination flashed in his eyes, and secretly decided. Before, everything he did was to test Zuo Z's experience. Itachi, who knows the existence of Uchiha Madara, understands that when he gives his eyes to Sasuke, that guy will come to Sasuke. If they are not strong enough, it is better to wait another two years. Unfortunately, Uchiha Itachi doesn't even know that the Uchiha Madara he knows is Obito's pretended existence. I didn't expect that your partner still has such a powerful force. Sasuke, let me be the big brother, you cut off this boring bond. Fire style how long fire technique. Uchiha Itachi let out an angry roar pretending to be a posture, quickly made a mudra with both hands, aimed at Naruto, and sprayed out a mouthful of fire dragon. Is this provoking me? Naruto sneered disdainfully, raised one hand, and the nine tails chakra on his body exploded instantly and a huge fox head appeared around him in Little Sakura. Uchiha Itachi's dragon fire, like a moth to a flame, hits the head of a huge fox, causing no waves. At the same time, the chakra on Naruto's body surged again, and Nine Tails' body, limbs and Nine Tails also formed instantly. A giant Nine Tails beast about 100 meters high, swaying Nine Tails tens of meters long, suddenly appeared in front of Itachi and Kisame. The huge chakra storm rushed in all directions with a destructive force. Naruto and the little Sakura stood in the void like this, standing among the heads of Nine Tails. This, this kind of coercion is too fishy to match. Even Nine Tails, the strongest tailed beast, is too exaggerated. Can this kind of task really be accomplished by us? Hoshigaki Kisame stood in front of him single handedly, the little shark's eyes were as big as copper bells, trembling in fear. Chakra Nine Tails transformed into Naruto, Kisame Kakisame, no matter how stupid he is, he knows the other party's identity. Has it come to this? Now that Naruto's identity has been revealed, that's all there is to it. Naruto, don't let me down. A look of helplessness flashed in Uchiha Itachi's eyes, red light flickered in his eyes, and a red Suzano skeleton ignited all over his body. Suzano. Well, this is exactly what I need. I am looking forward to the perfect Susan with both offense and defense. Naruto saw Susan who was about to explode, and the corner of his mouth twitched inwardly. At the same time, a giant golden claw of chakra stretched out, grabbing Seiko and pulling her to little Sakura. Suzano, is the ability that Naruto has been looking forward to. His eternal Mangekyo Sharingan has never awakened this power. Now you can nine tails, how can the armor fall? What a huge chakra! Is this the power of nine tails? However, with the goddess system, I won't fall far behind. In the head of nine tails, Seiko thought enviously and righteously in his eyes. The current Seiko is no longer that glass hearted avenger. Mr. Itachi, do you want to? Kisame Kisame also came to Uchiha Itachi in an instant, looked at the condensed Suzano, and asked in a panic Kisame, the mission to capture nine tails begins now. You step back first. Uchiha Itachi dismissed Kisame casually, endured the pain from Suzano, and controlled Suzano to punch him. Seeing this, Naruto didn't back down, and he punched Uchiha Itachi's Suzano with the same punch. The two fists intersected, and the huge chakra wind and waves scattered away like a storm. Only Suzano in the third stage, despite his heaven-defying strength, is not enough to look at in front of Naruto in Karama mode. 
Uchiha Itachi only lasted for less than two seconds, and the powerful punch directly broke half of Susan's body along the arm. You know, Naruto in this state has the combat power to reach the finale. Uchiha Itachi's Susan bust, that's not a sure thing. Good, so powerful. As expected, it is the fourth generation, the existence that was sealed with the risk of life. However, meeting that person with such an ability is still a bit dangerous. Why, we are Uchiha. Uchiha Itachi retreated dozens of steps before he staggered to a halt, murmured insignificantly, looked up at Naruto, and Mangekio Sharingan turned. But just when Uchiha Itachi was about to launch the illusion, his pupils widened suddenly, with an unbelievable expression on his face. In this appearance, he was even more surprised than when he knew Sasuke was a girl just now. Naruto, in his pupils, there are actually a pair of Sharingan. Still a pair, Mangekio Sharingan. Because the distance was too far, Uchiha Itachi didn't see the Mangekio pattern clearly, and didn't know that it was eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Just vaguely see that it is different from the Sharingan pattern of the Three Hook Jade. When Uchiha Itachi was in a daze, Naruto was not in a daze. The giant claws of nine tails appeared next to Uchiha Itachi in an instant, crushing the remaining half of his Susan. Uchiha Itachi was also awakened by Naruto's move, but he didn't continue to fight back, and let the giant claws of the nine tails crush Susan's half body and imprison him. Naruto's strength has been recognized by Uchiha Itachi. There is no need to continue wasting the pupil power test. Mr. Itachi. Seeing that Uchiha Itachi was captured alive, Kakisame roared angrily and rushed over waving a samahata. Pupil technique distinguished heavenly gods. Naruto turned his head to look at Kisame, and with a movement of his right eye, the short-lived distinguished heavenly gods residing in the right eye was activated. Kisame, who was running, suddenly had dull eyes, stopped in a daze, and stood there without saying a word. Distinguished heavenly gods, how is this possible? How did Naruto know Shisui's pupil technique? Seeing this scene, Uchiha Itachi was in a mess for an instant, living up to his previous calm appearance. Also at this time, Naruto dispersed into nine tails, and came to his side with two Sakura. Itachi, your eyes, I accept. Lift, Naruto looked at Sako's arrogant look, a black line rose on his forehead. That's right, the words just now were said by the naturally proud Miss Seiko. He has no intention of killing Itachi or taking Mangekio, on the contrary, he wants to make Itachi the existence of eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Itachi's character and thoughts aside, just changing Itachi's fate to get the Honkai point, and later copying Itachi's perfect body Suzano, Naruto knew what he should do. Ahem. Now that I have been defeated by you, I have nothing to say. Like I said, we're each other's spare eyes, it is our destiny to grow up in such a cursed family. Don't you want to know who that person is? His name is, Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Itachi saw that Kisame had been controlled by the illusion, so he felt relieved. After coughing a mouthful of blood, he began to reveal the information he knew. Uchiha Madara. What are you kidding that person is a character from the first Hokage period. It is a long dead existence. How can I believe this kind of nonsense? The expression on Zuazi's face changed instantly with an expression that you think I'm an idiot, and he questioned angrily. Believe it or not, that person was Uchiha Madara. What you know is not necessarily the truth. Just like you always think, I'm a considerate vice. I have always cooperated with you, playing the perfect brother in your mind. Don't you already know the truth behind this? Uchiha Madara, always alive. Uchiha Itachi continued to maintain his paralyzed character, staring at Sakodeo blankly. F. Your existence is not what you say it is. I won't believe your nonsense now. Seiko, who knew part of the truth about Itachi's genocide, saw that Itachi was still lying to him, with an unspeakable touch in his eyes, and directly exposed Itachi's lies. Yes? Are you still immersed in the brotherhood I spun? Such you make me feel very fulfilled. In this way, even if I fail, I will become your unforgettable existence. Indeed, the Nine Tails Rebellion twelve years ago was planned by Uchiha Madara. Now, he has created an organization called, Shao, its real purpose. A trace of relief and emotion flashed deep in Uchiha Itachi's eyes, but he still calmed down and continued to reveal information. Itachi, why do you think that you are not the one who was deceived? Seiko, don't you want to know the truth? Let's go back and have a look, and we'll know if we don't. Naruto was not in the mood, he went to hear the two brothers and sisters show off their acting skills, and when he opened his mouth, the three present were all stunned. Go back. Go back and have a look. 
Seiko, Itachi, and little Sakura all looked at Naruto with blank and horrified faces, and exclaimed in surprise. Yes, let's go back to the night when the genocide was exterminated and find out the truth of the matter. Naruto didn't explain much, and said the most outrageous things in a very ordinary tone. At the same time, Naruto slapped the ground with one hand, and a time machine appeared in front of Naruto. This is a one-time time machine worth 10,000 Honkai points. Now Naruto's Honkai point is only 63,750 points left. What is this? Little Sakura took two steps forward, looked at this strange machine, blinked her beautiful green eyes, and asked curiously. Seiko and Itachi also had similar expressions, looking at Naruto and the time machine in surprise. I won't explain too much, you will know in a moment. Naruto smirked, and with the hand of chakra on his body, he brought Seiko, little Sakura, and Itachi to the time machine. The position of the time machine is barely enough for four people to stand. Everyone, time travel has begun. After adjusting the time by operating the button, Naruto let out a low drink and pressed the start button of the time machine. The three of them just felt a flash in front of their eyes, and they entered a special passage. What, what is this place? Even though Uchiha Itachi was a mature young man, he couldn't help being surprised and asked in a trembling voice. This is the passage of time, we will return to the night of genocide later. The truth that Seiko wants to pursue, the truth that you buried, will be directly presented to us. It was already this time, and Naruto didn't hold back, and said frankly. As for worrying about them leaking information? Non-existent. Naruto, who divides the past and the future with a telephone booth, has long been unafraid of any challenge. This is the confidence that Doraemon brought to him. Back, back to the past. How could such a thing exist? The three of them widened their eyes at the same time, and exclaimed again in disbelief. Three expressions, each showing a different color. As far as I know, there are at least two ways in the ninja world to take people to the past and the future. You don't know, it's just that you don't know enough. Well, the destination has arrived. Naruto simply explained, regardless of the surprised three people, saw the black hole exit suddenly appearing in front, and manipulated the time machine to fly over. Konoha 55 years at the place where the three of Naruto met before, a black hole appeared out of thin air, and the time machine carried four people out of it, and then disappeared out of thin air. Let's go. There is still a distance from Konoha here. Naruto glanced at the direction, took out four bamboo dragonflies, put one on himself, and handed it to the three of them. Although Seiko and little Sakura were a bit unbelievable, they still took the bamboo dragonfly and put it on with ease. Uchiha Itachi turned the Sharingan, copied the movements of several people, and put on the bamboo dragonfly smoothly. Who are you? Here, is it really five years ago? What was that tool just now? As the four of them lifted off into the air, Uchiha Itachi couldn't help asking after getting familiar with the flight. Seiko and little Sakura also looked at Naruto with complicated expressions, their hearts were racing with thoughts. Especially Seiko, Naruto's behavior made her wonder if Naruto also has some kind of system. I'm still Naruto, however, some special powers have been obtained. Don't ask other questions, you just don't know. Naruto still maintains his previous style and doesn't care about their opinions at all. It is impossible not to use Doraemon's props. And too many props, it is impossible to explain it all. Lying is also an endless consumption of brain cells. Mang is done. Three people. With the blessing of the bamboo dragonfly, the three of them soon came to the sky above Konoha village. With Uchiha Itachi, the former captain of Anbu, the barrier covering Konoha is just a decoration. That is. Brother Shisui. Suddenly, Uchiha Itachi, who was flying in the sky, exclaimed in shock after seeing a familiar figure. Immediately, Uchiha Itachi flew straight down, followed by Seiko. Shisui. Naruto's eyes instantly opened when he heard the words, and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly when he saw the figure below. Meow. The time seems to be a little bit wrong. Uh. Naruto adjusted the time machine according to the time Seiko changed in his predecessor's memory. Looks like my memory is a bit off, although it was a little earlier. But also harmless. Anyway, this time, just testing the world and collecting Honkai points, and Mangekyo Sharingan. Seiko and Itachi, just by the way. Naruto adjusted his mentality in an instant, and he greeted little Sakura to land quickly. That's right. Naruto's 10,000 Honkai points this time is not just helping Itachi brothers and sisters play mental games. Interests are what drove him here. A meeting is about to be held. 
I don't know what Master Danzo is looking for me for. I hope there will be no accidents. Uchiha Shisui stood alone in the huge Buddha statue square, groaning, frowning as if waiting for something. He has already reported to Konoha's senior management that he will use distinguished heavenly gods at today's rally to let Uchiha Fugaku suppress the reactionary voices in the clan. For the peace and stability of Konoha and Uchiha, strive for the possibility of relief. Suddenly, Shisui's ears moved, and he raised his head to look at the sky suddenly. Three Tomo Sharingan's pupils shrank suddenly, and his expression changed instantly. That's it, Itachi. Seeing the familiar face at the front, Shisui frowned and whispered. At this time, Uchiha Itachi was 18 years old. Compared with the 13-year-old Uchiha Itachi at this time point, there should be no change. And the Konoha forehead protector with a horizontal line drawn made it even more difficult for Shisui to accept. This is still the image of Shao Organization's red cloud black robe, which was damaged in the battle just now. Otherwise, a proper villain image will appear. Brother Shisui, it's really you. While Shisui was thinking, Uchiha Itachi came to Shisui in an instant, with excitement in his eyes, and shouted in surprise. In the memory of Uchiha Itachi, this is a dead existence. He is also his big brother who is both a teacher and a friend, and his status is comparable to Sasuke's brother. Mangekio Sharingan. Itachi, you have those eyes too. No, the forehead protector on your head you, betrayed Konoha? No, you are not Itachi. Shisui's eyes only stayed on Itachi's face for a moment and he was attracted by his Sharingan and forehead protector. He took a step back and questioned vigilantly. At this moment, Seiko, Naruto, and little Sakura also fell down one after another, making Shisui even more confused. Brother Shisui, I know things are absurd, but I am really Uchiha Itachi, I am Itachi five years later. They are also Sasuke and Naruto five years later. Uchiha Itachi was also facing this situation for the first time, and quickly explained at a loss. He really didn't expect that one day he would meet Shisui again. Well, forgive Uchiha Itachi for not remembering little Sakura's famous minister. Itachi five years from now, are they Sasuke and Naruto? Shisui was stunned for a moment, turning his head suspiciously to look at the youthful and attractive Seiko, and the beautiful Naruto, choking on the spot for a while. Naruto is Nine Tails Jinchuriki, of course Shisui has seen it, and can see a little outline of it. But what about Sasuke? He doesn't remember, Sasuke is a girl. Shisui, I am Sasuke. When I was a child, I always dressed as a boy. Sharingan, is my identity. Seiko had a good impression of Shisui, so he took two steps forward, opened Mangekio Sharingan, and defended himself. Because of the existence of Naruto and little Sakura, Seiko can only go to the dark one way. Dress up as a man. Itachi and Shisui looked at each other and were speechless at the same time. You brat. I really thought that when you were young, we didn't. Heck, you can't talk about this, Mangekio Sharingan. You even have these eyes. Itachi, tell me what's going on. Shisui was stunned for a moment, then was shocked by Sako's Mangekio Sharingan, and quickly turned to ask Uchiha Itachi. It's a long story, I'll tell you with illusion. Uchiha Itachi murmured with mixed flavors, cast an illusion, and pulled Shisui into the illusion space. Then, Shisui saw that he would have his right eye gouged out by Danzo today. Then because of the disappointment with the high-level Konoha, and the despair of not being able to see the future. After entrusting the family's hope and left eye to Itachi, he committed suicide by jumping into the river. Itachi also succeeded in awakening Mangekio Sharingan because of his death. After that, Itachi and the masked man Uchiha Madara, as well as Danzo Root joined extermination. Bearing the charge of genocide alone, he became Konoha's S-class traitor, lurking in the Akatsuki organization, silently guarding Sasuke and Konoha. These things have passed for a long time in the illusion space, but in reality, it is only a moment. That is to say, I entrusted the fate of the clan to you, and you killed the clan? Is this the way you thought of it? After Shisui's consciousness came back to reality, he was shocked and angry, and looked at Itachi with a bit of regret, and cried out with his pupils dilated. What he pursues is to realize the harmonious coexistence of Konoha and Uchiha. This is the result? Then why is he worrying so much about it? Who wouldn't exterminate the genocide, forbidden, brother Shisui? At that time, I had no choice but to suppress Uchiha by force. Uchiha's clan rebelled, in addition to weakening Konoha's strength and bringing war to Konoha, it still cannot avoid the fact of genocide. For Konoha's peace, I can only choose to do this. 
Uchiha Itachi is like a child who has done something wrong, and said with a guilty conscience. He can't say that he is for his brother Sasuke. Uh, it's my sister. It seems that it is not natural for him to bet this heavy responsibility on a 13-year-old child. Both of you, that's enough. Have you thought about Uchiha from beginning to end? Have you thought about those ordinary people who died in vain? What did they do wrong again? Why should you decide their fate? Can you only see so far with your measurement? If you had discussed with your father earlier, the result would definitely be different. I don't believe that two pairs of Mangekio Sharingan, plus the strength of the Uchiha clan, can't protect Uchiha and negotiate peace with the high-level Konoha? Zuozi was listening to the conversation between the two, and the more he listened, the more angry he shouted. She has seen it, Fugaku singled out third generation and Danzo, and did not lose at all. Although the two later fought and killed each other, the two pairs of Mangekio Sharingan were strong enough to guarantee a fair talk with Konoha's senior management. Shisui and Itachi froze at the same time, looked at Seiko in surprise, and lowered their heads in thought. Sako's words are good. Neither of you deserves to make decisions on behalf of Uchiha. There is a better solution, but choose the stupidest one. Do you think that you were great because you sacrificed for the will of fire? Then I will let you witness the truth. Naruto's eyes moved, and he spoke disdainfully at the right time. Under Shisui's and Itachi's indifferent eyes, Naruto turned and looked to the other side. Come out, Danzo. I already knew you were coming. Mangekio Sharingan in Naruto's pupils emerged, staring at a bush and shouted. Whoosh whoosh. The moment Naruto's voice fell, several figures quickly ran to the distance. The existence of the triple pair Mangekio Sharingan, Danzo can't afford to mess with him. Amaterasu. Naruto looked directly at those figures, let out a low shout, and the overwhelming black flames of Amaterasu entangled those figures in an instant. Among them, Danzo at this point in time is included. Under the urging of Naruto Eternal Mangekio Sharingan's pupil power, Amaterasu flame instantly killed all root ninjas in an invincible posture. Under the surprised gazes of Shisui and Itachi, Danzo, who cast Izanagi, appeared before their eyes again. And Naruto has already predicted this. Flame control controls Amaterasu, and it turns into a black sphere, enclosing Danzo in the middle. Danzo in Izanagi's state, now is not the time to kill him. Shisui, are you going to betray Konoha? Now Danzo can only pin his hopes on Shisui and question loudly. At the same time, Mangekio Sharingan of Itachi, Seiko and Naruto looked at Mangekio Sharingan with flickering eyes. The greed and fear in his eyes intertwined and flashed. Betray Konoha? What a high-sounding reason. However, I'm not interested in playing political games with you. Before Shisui could speak, Naruto played with disdain, reached out and took out a pistol, and handed it to Shisui. Stand swap pistols you can exchange each other's positions and understand each other's pain and choices. Worth 200 Honkai points, one-time item. Naruto is not Uchiha now, and cannot represent Uchiha's position in exchange positions. What does this mean? Shisui curiously took over the pistol, looked at it for a while, and asked Naruto in puzzlement. You don't know. What should Uchiha do? Don't you want to know what you think the will of fire really means? When the positions are exchanged, do Konoha's high-level executives have the consciousness of sacrificing for Konoha like you do? Give it a try and you'll know the answer. Point it at Danzo, press it lightly, and you will know the answer. Naruto looked into Shisui's eyes and bewitched in a low voice. Shisui, who knows what will happen next, is now at a time when he is confused about the future. Hearing about this prop, my eyes lit up, and I didn't have time to ask Naruto's Mangekio Sharingan, just shot Danzo. It's just an exchange of positions, Shisui is not too reluctant to do so. With a swipe, Shisui and Danzo, surrounded by Amaterasu, switched bodies instantly. At the same time, the positions of the two have undergone earth-shaking changes. Shimura Shisui and Uchiha Danzo, appear temporarily. Uchiha destroys Konoha's harmony and stability, and I will definitely find a way to solve it. Danzo, we can sit down and talk slowly if we have something to do, don't do this. Shimura Shisui looked at the Amaterasu black flame surrounding him, with a bitter expression on his face, and persuaded him earnestly. What is destroying Konoha's stable peace? How to solve it? Itachi has already told me, isn't it genocide? Is this what you call a solution? It is obvious that you deceived me Uchiha too much, and in the end Uchiha has to bear all the bitter fruits. We must resist to the end, and we will not hesitate to do our best. Konoha, but I, Uchiha and Senju built it together. 
So what about the high-level Konoha? We Uchiha can build Konoha, and we can destroy it with our own hands. Uchiha Danzo stared at Shimura Shisui with a cold face, the tyranny flashed on his body, and the aura of a hero emerged spontaneously, and he shouted angrily. You, aren't you afraid of triggering a war in the ninja world and causing more people to suffer? Konoha's will of fire, do you have it? Shimura Shisui was very angry, and said nervously with sweat on his forehead. Konoha, I can't stand such a toss anymore. Uchiha is dead, what do you need Konoha? Uchiha and Senju, the original intention of establishing Konoha is to save the next generation of children from the suffering of war. The will of fire was born to protect the family and children. Now you let us catch us without a fight and be slaughtered by you? My will of fire will not agree, this is the will of fire that I guard. Uchiha Danzo's eyes burst into flames, staring at Shimura Shisui with murderous intent, and said loudly with hatred. No no no. We have been pursuing a peaceful solution and will never resolve it by force. If there is a request, we can continue to talk. As long as there is no war, any conditions are easy to negotiate. Seeing Uchiha Danzo's firm attitude, Shimura Shisui immediately let go of his words to persuade him. With Uchiha's strength, if it doesn't work out, Konoha will be buried with him. The risk is too great and it's not worth it. As soon as the words fell, the positions of the two changed again. At this time, both Danzo and Shisui were shocked by what happened just now, and thought deeply. The conversation between the two also made Itachi and Seiko tremble slightly, their eyes showing shock. At that time, if Uchiha had really been like this, perhaps such a tragedy would not have happened. Well, the 200 point exchange of guns only takes 10 minutes. Itachi, I feel that our plan for pursuing peace may be wrong. Uchiha and Konoha have irreconcilable conflicts. If you want peace, except for the death of one side, you can only unify by force. What Danzo said before is correct, the will of fire is to protect family members and partners. Instead of sacrificing some people for the sake of most people. If it is us now, I am confident that we will change by force without bloodshed. Me, you, Sasuke, Chief Fugaku, and Danzo, absolutely no problem. This time, I will not entrust the hope of the whole family to you alone. After Shisui pondered for a moment, he said with a resolute look in his eyes, then suddenly raised his head to look at Danzo, and the scarlet Mangekio turned. The permanent distinguished heavenly gods residing in his left eye activated, and Danzo, who was thinking about life, felt a trance for a while, his thoughts changed rapidly, and he looked at Shisui respectfully in a blink of an eye. This is the object of his allegiance in the future. Brother Shisui, I listen to you. Uchiha Itachi was also slightly agitated, without thinking too much at all, and agreed straightforwardly. If it's Namikaze Minato, then there's more to consider. What are you going to do, I have no objection. After this matter is over, we will return to our time. Seiko, don't you want to find out the truth about the night of extermination? Then for the time being, proceed according to the original history. Until then, I'm going to build the eternal Mangekio Sharingan for you, just in case something happens. Naruto stared at the three people in astonishment, and the exit was earth shattering. Forge, Eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Seiko, Itachi, and Shisui were shocked at the same time and exclaimed. Well, as Itachi said before, the side effect of Mangekio Sharingan is that Mangekio of the same bloodline need to fuse with each other to obtain eternal light. In the time of Uchiha Madara, he didn't know that if he used too much Mangekio, he would lose his light. That's why he took away his younger brother's Mangekio after he became blind. And we, knowing this information, why didn't we change our eyes in advance? Before your eyes are blind, swapping eyes may be able to do eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Itachi, the Shisui left eye you collected can also make Shisui have an eternal Mangekio Sharingan. In this case, there are five people in Uchiha, reaching the level that Uchiha Madara used to be. Then Naruto showed his fox tail and explained seriously. In fact, Naruto didn't know if this would work. The ghost knows whether to change the eyes after being blind to have the eternal eyes, or just change the eyes. Anyway, it's just an experiment, but he still has a backup remedy. It's just a matter of breaking it down. Take a gamble and turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. Five people? There are only three of us. Could it be that you said is? Seiko turned to look at Itachi and Shisui, suddenly thought of something, and said in shock. Well, it's your father. Uchiha Fugaku, and of this era, Uchiha Itachi. Naruto nodded, responding to Sako's question. Is this the way? Maybe it really works. 
However, you actually know about that I. Naruto, what is your purpose? I don't believe that you brought us back here without any purpose, but also to help us awaken the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. What about your Mangekyo Sharingan? Suspicion flashed in Uchiha Itachi's eyes, Mangekyo in his pupils turned, and he questioned in a cold voice. Purpose. Maybe it's fun. If you still want to try my strength, I don't mind letting you die. Naruto stared at Uchiha Itachi playfully, the eternal eyes appeared in his pupils, and threatened unceremoniously. Yamaganogawa the 13-year-old Itachi, wearing Anbu standard equipment, walked quickly to the edge of a cliff in the Yamaganogawa River. Just now, Shisui sent a letter asking him to come here to discuss things. Here you come, Itachi. With his back to the young Itachi, Shisui stood on the edge of the cliff and said lightly. Below, is the endless stream of water, rushing on and on. Brother Shisui, how is your talk with Master Danzo going? Is there any way to resolve this dispute peacefully? The young Itachi hurriedly came behind Shisui, took off the mask on his face, and asked nervously. Itachi, Uchiha's coup, cannot be stopped. Once Konoha triggers civil strife, other countries will definitely take advantage of it and cause a war zone. I wanted to use the distinguished heavenly gods to stop the coup, but Danzo took my right eye. He didn't believe me, he was determined to protect the village in his own way. It is estimated that he will not let go of my left eye. Until then, I entrust this eye to you. As Shisui said, he turned his head, exposing his bleeding right eye, and said sadly. I can only ask you, my best friend, to protect the village. Guard Uchiha's name. Shisui immediately reached out to dig out his left eye and handed it to the young Itachi, as if relieved, he smiled and said lightly. I've already accepted the eyes, so what are you going to do? The young Itachi looked at the miserable Shisui in horror, and the three Tomo Sharingan in his pupils trembled crazily. With a thought, the summoning crow closed that eye and asked hoarsely. If I die, the situation may change. I have left a suicide note, don't stop me. Shisui smiled casually, and the moment he said this, he jumped off the cliff with a single leap, smashed his body into the river, and was swallowed by the river in the blink of an eye. Shisui. The young Itachi came to the edge of the cliff with a brisk walk, but only had time to see the fleeting splash of water, and suddenly felt sad from his heart, and cried out in grief and indignation. Under the great grief, the young Itachi only felt that his eyes were in a trance for a while, blood and tears flowed out of his eyes, and a force poured into his eyes. His Mangekyo Sharingan, awakened. At the moment when the young Itachi opened Mangekyo Sharingan, the world in front of his eyes was instantly shattered. In a wooden house, several figures of different heights appeared in front of his eyes. He unexpectedly fell into someone else's illusion without knowing it. You, you are. The young Itachi, who was in great grief, first looked at Shisui and the adult Itachi. Congratulations, Itachi. Awakened Mangekyo Sharingan. Next. Let yourself explain for yourself or Shisui took two steps forward, heartily patted the young Itachi on the shoulder, and signaled him to talk with the adult Itachi. Brother Shisui, it's great that you're not dead. That is, me, myself. The young Itachi looked at Shisui in surprise and surprise, and looked at the adult Itachi in shock, wondering and wondering. In the past, you were really lucky that you didn't have to carry such a heavy burden. Just now, it was the pain you should have experienced. It's also the pain I've been through. Now, let you feel our original future again. The adult Itachi stared at the young Itachi with complicated expressions, and explained with extremely complicated emotions. The Mangekyo Sharingan in the left eye turns, ignoring the consumed Tsukuyomi again. The previous illusion was the Tsukuyomi illusion of an adult Itachi. Although the young Itachi had awakened Mangekyo Sharingan, he hadn't awakened any pupil technique, and was pulled into the Tsukuyomi space without the slightest resistance. In less than a second, the Mangekyo Sharingan of the young Itachi suddenly turned, blood and tears flowed from both eyes. In front of his line of sight, a group of Amaterasu black flames suddenly appeared. Naruto, who had been prepared for a long time, activated Amaterasu in his left eye, which instantly counteracted his Amaterasu black flame. Likewise, the Tsukuyomi in the left eye activates, cancelling out the Tsukuyomi in the adult Itachi. Ha ha. The two were half kneeling on the ground almost at the same time, looking at each other out of breath. Thank you, future me. This time, I will make a different choice. The young Itachi's aura changed instantly, mixed with a different kind of mature temperament, and he looked at the other party in agreement. Just now, 
the adult Itachi used Tsukuyomi, which made him empathize with the grief of an adult Itachi. It was also in that grief that the young Itachi successfully activated his pupil art, Tsukuyomi and Amaterasu. Then you are my sister. Suddenly, the young Itachi turned his head to look at Seiko, with a smile on the corner of his mouth, narrowed his eyes and smiled. Nissan. Seeing the familiar person with a familiar smile, Zuozi couldn't help shouting. Such a young Itachi, Seiko doesn't have any psychological burden. Okay, enough gossip. Little Sakura, it's time to start. Naruto looked at the scene in front of him, turned his head and shouted to little Sakura who was getting ready. He brought little Sakura over this time, and it wasn't useless. Under the tutelage of Rin Nohara, who changed Kakashi's eyes, little Sakura's medical skills have improved rapidly. Itachi and Seiko both have eye replacements of the same race, and they don't need to change their eye shafts like Kakashi. Little Sakura can do it. Well, Naruto. The little Sakura swallowed secretly, with a look of determination on her face, she nodded firmly. In order to change eyes smoothly, Naruto also specially asked the adult Itachi to give the little Sakura a Tsukuyomi for field training. Anyway, I have to change my eyes, so it doesn't matter to cherish the pupil power. Adult Itachi and Seiko heard the conversation between Naruto and little Sakura, and they came to the hospital bed that had been prepared and lay down. Itachi, go find your father. Don't startle anyone. Seeing this, Shisui turned his head and said sternly to the young Itachi. Teenage Itachi and Fugaku are another pair of eye swappers. This is Naruto worried about the world's rejection, and did not perform the other world's eye changing. Shisui, as an experiment, changed himself to be the left eye of the world. The young Itachi also knew the inside story, and quickly dodged to call Fugaku. The location they chose was not far from the Uchiha tribe. After the young Itachi left, Shisui stood guard outside. As the minutes passed, little Sakura quickly removed the eyes of Itachi and Seiko, soaking them in the sterilized nutrient solution. This is the reason given by Naruto, to prevent bacterial infection. Soon, Fugaku ran over with a shocked face following the young Itachi. Seeing the adult Itachi and the girl Seiko, Fugaku, apart from being unbelievable, believed everything the young Itachi told him in the illusion space. Then, another pair of Mangekyo Sharingan was removed by Sakura Jr. Don't ask why is so smooth, it's Naruto's tricks. Yes, Naruto used distinguished heavenly gods, temporarily affecting Fugaku and Itachi boy. Adult Itachi, Seiko and Shisui, not needed. Looking at the four pairs of Mangekyo Sharingan in the nutrient solution, Naruto's illusion was activated quietly. Little Sakura's eyes were instantly confused. Naruto took out a copy mirror worth 50,000 Honkai points, put it in front of the four pairs of Mangekyo and pressed the switch, start copying the four pairs of Sharingan. Of course, neither he nor Sakura Jr., and anyone else, appear in the mirror image of the replica mirror. Naruto didn't want to copy himself or someone else now. Duplicate mirror. Five minute aging props. Because of the suppression of the will of the world, the more powerful the individual, the longer the time to copy. Any existence can be copied, but when copying creatures, there will be individuals with very different personalities. That's why Naruto, instead of just waiting for them to awaken the eternal eye, copied the eternal eye. The copying of Mangekyo does not know how long it will take. At the same time, this is also a remedy after failure. Under Naruto's nervous gaze, a minute later, four pairs of Mangekyo duplicates appeared. Four pair Mangekyo Sharingan becomes eight pair Mangekyo Sharingan. Another three minutes later, the eight pairs turned into sixteen pairs. At the last minute, just add six pairs of Mangekyo Sharingan, and the replica mirror is gone. Excluding the original four pairs, Naruto has a total of eighteen pairs and thirty-six Mangekyo Sharingan. Shisui's Mangekyo Sharingan, Naruto had no intention of copying at all. It didn't even work. The power of the distinguished heavenly gods is not suitable to be used for wandering. Naruto quickly put away the copied 18 pairs of Mangekyo Sharingan, and unlocked the illusion on the little Sakura. By the way, he also sorted out those Mangekyo. There are 8 pairs of Itachi's eyes, 5 pairs of Sako's eyes, and 4 pairs of Fugaku's eyes. No way who made the ferret a double copy of the adult ferret and the juvenile ferret. But they are exactly the same in terms of abilities, both Amaterasu plus Tsukuyomi. Little Sakura, it's almost time to start. Let's start with Seiko and the others. Naruto, who got the benefits, gave orders to Sakura who regained consciousness. Little Sakura naturally had no objection, nervously began to change eyes on them. 
That extremely serious appearance really made Naruto stand out. Perhaps, it's time to give little Sakura a break. Um, by the way after a while, the bandaged father, son, brother and sister sat on the chair next to them. Shisui also came in and let little Sakura use the left eye brought by an adult Itachi to replace it in his left eye frame. Compared with Seiko and the others, Shisui with only one dragon eye is in a much better situation, at least he can still see things. Hum, sort of Kakashi. Looking at these people, a faint smile appeared on the corner of Naruto's mouth, and a transparent glove instantly appeared on his right hand. This is the ability to copy gloves with invincible cost performance. 1000 Honkai points at a time, with a time limit of half an hour. After some consumption, Naruto's collapse point is only 12,750 points left. I don't know if it's because of the world, or because of something, there is no settlement point for collapse now. This also made Naruto temporarily give up using the Honkai point to do things. He can't play away the travel expenses. Naruto took the ability to copy the glove, and touched the adult Itachi without showing any trace. Name. Uchiha Itachi. Abilities. Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, Suzano, 4th stage, due to including weapons 10 Fist Sword, Yada Mirror. Amaterasu, Sukuyomi, Inferno Style Flame Control, Izanami. Transfer Seal. Magic Yangong Technique, Illusion Shiranui, Magic Mirror World Turn, Crow Clone Technique, Crow Clone Big Blast, Shadow Clone Technique. Fire Style Great Fireball Technique, Fire Style Impatience Fire Technique, Fire Style Impatience Flower Claw Red, Fire Style How Long Fire Technique, Water Style Water Dragon Bomb Technique, Water Style Water Tooth Bomb. Naruto only understands this information, and he has a bottom line in his heart. Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, it is done. Naruto who turned on Karama mode has long lost interest in those ordinary escape techniques. He just copied Uchiha Atachi's Sukuyomi, Izanami, Suzano, 4th stage, included weapons 10 Fist Sword, Yada Mirror. Transfer Seal, Magic Mirror World Turn, Crow Clone Technique. In the 4th stage, Suzano can already use Prestige Suzano to put armor on 9 tails. This is the form second only to the perfect Suzano. Naruto then targeted Fugaku and Shisui. As for Seiko and young Itachi, there is no need for this. After some operations by Naruto. On Shisui, he copied pupil technique Permanent Distinguished Heavenly Gods, Suzano 99, Shisui Body Flicker Technique. Suzano? 99 is the ability required by Shisui. Open Suzano's breastplate and shoot countless green chakra arrows from the center for a ranged attack. This is much better than Sasuke's single arrow in the original plot. The point is, Naruto can use Amaterasu plus flame control to add Amaterasu black flame to the arrow. The effect. While on Fugaku, Naruto only copied his Mangekio pupil art, transfer damage and precognition analysis. These two abilities can surprise Naruto. Left eye transfer damage, can transfer the attack to any place within a range of 100 meters. Right eye predictive analysis, you can briefly predict what will happen after the analysis. These two abilities, if used well, are also very powerful pupil techniques. As for Fugaku's second stage Suzano, and other messy ninja genjutsu, Naruto didn't see it right at all. You guys rest, I'll go out for a while. Naruto saw that the ability to copy the glove still had more than 10 minutes to expire, rolled his eyes, greeted him, and left in an instant. After leaving this room, Naruto's figure flickered in Konoha village like a ghost, and soon came to his home with ease. In other words, it is the home of the original protagonist Naruto. Seven-year-old Naruto, but the genuine original protagonist. Naruto dodged in quickly, and saw the seven-year-old Naruto who was sleeping soundly. Two steps forward, the right hand wearing the ability copy glove rests on little Naruto. Name. Uzumaki Naruto Abilities, Uzumaki Bloodline, Yang Nine Tails Bust, Closed, Ashura Chakra, Hidden. Warning. Do not self-replicate copy capabilities. Before Naruto's happy expression could be subdued, he was beaten back to his original shape by the following warning. This situation somewhat exceeded Naruto's expectation. That's right, he was trying to duplicate another nine tails, double the fun. Did not expect. Forget it, it's not a big deal. Now that you're here, let's save little Naruto a little trouble. Naruto sighed helplessly. Karama mode was turned on instantly and those who were familiar with the road came to the sealed space of little Naruto. After a while, Naruto left with a satisfied smile. And at the lower abdomen of little Naruto, 
The overflowing Nine Tails Chakra quickly converges, no longer disturbing little Naruto's chakra. In this way, more than ten days have passed safely. The eternal Mangekyo Sharingan of several of them have also adapted. Because of the problem of traveling through time, Danzo has been controlled by Shisui's distinguished heavenly gods, and the young Itachi is not desperate to find the masked man Obito. Everything has changed. The truth that Zuozi wanted to pursue ended without a problem. However, in the conversation of the young Itachi, Seiko still knew the difficulties of the adult Itachi. It's just that Seiko still can't accept this heavy family affection. Seiko has only one purpose now, to find the masked man and see if he is Uchiha Madara. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's because Shisui is not dead, and the masked man Obito didn't show up in front of the young Itachi. But Naruto also has his way. If you don't come out, then you can only try this. Kamui. Naruto took out a note in his hand, threw it straight into the air, let out a low shout, and Kamui started. The space around the note floating in the air suddenly twisted, and the note was quickly transported to the Kamui space. I don't know if these two Kamui eyes are connected to a Kamui space. If not, don't wait for him. Looking at the calm sky, Naruto murmured in a sense of loss. A few days later, Naruto went to guard Obito at the agreed place for three consecutive days, but he didn't show up. In desperation, Naruto didn't wait for him. Konoha. Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, Hokage advisor Udatain Kaharu, and Maitokado Homura gathered again at the invitation of Danzo. Danzo. What do you want to discuss with us? Could it be that something happened to Uchiha? Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, flicked the cigarette ash in his hand, and asked first. No, we are actually looking for you. A root member standing behind Danzo suddenly took off his mask and looked up at the three of them. At the same time, the Scarlet Mangekyo Sharingan stared sharply at third Hokage. Whoosh whoosh. Before the third generation and the others had any reaction, four figures appeared in the room. Five pairs of Scarlet Mangekyo Sharingan exuded a breathtaking prestige, approaching the three of Serutobi. Among them, only the adult ferret is wearing a mask. His appearance, as long as you are not blind, you will recognize it as Uchiha Itachi. It doesn't matter to Seiko, she's a girl now, Uchiha. Serutobi Hirazan trembled, looking at the five pairs of Scarlet Mangekyo Sharingan, his heart skipped a beat. Uchiha, it's so hidden. No, those eye patterns are not ordinary Mangekyo Sharingan. Could it be? Thinking of that legend, Serutobi Hirazan's heart sank to the bottom. Konoha, I can't stand the toss of existence like five Uchiha Madara. Shisui, are you on their side? Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, a mature politician after all, took a deep breath, calmed down, looked at Shisui with piercing eyes and asked. Stared at by five pairs of eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura had cold sweat on their foreheads, and they didn't have the courage to speak at all. Third generation, I have been looking forward to your finding a peaceful solution. But it turns out that you don't have any suitable solutions. Instead, under your indecisive policy, the conflict between Uchiha and Konoha is getting worse. In this case, I can only choose to protect Konoha and Uchiha in my own way. I hope that I can take over the position of 5th Hokage, reform the Konoha guard, Uchiha and her Anbu, and completely eliminate the gap with Konoha. Third generation, this is my last request to you. Shisui's sharp scarlet Mangekyo, staring resolutely at third Hokage, solemnly said. This is a plan they have discussed before. In front of Hokage, Shisui is more convincing than Fugaku or juvenile Itachi. The name of Shisui, and the will of fire he inherited, are widely spread among Konoha Janin. You guys, is this a coup d'etat? After hearing this, Udatane Kaharu still couldn't bear the indignation in his heart and reprimanded loudly. If you want to understand it that way, it's okay. Uchiha has enough strength to destroy Konoha, depends on what you think. Zuozi stood aside, with red lights in his eyes, and said with a icy face. Kaharu, shut up. Shisui, what will you do if I don't want to? Serutobi Hirazan turned his head sharply, scolded Udatane Kaharu severely, then turned his head to Shisui and asked. Third generation, I have always advocated a peaceful solution to this dispute. Now, no exception. If you disagree, then I can only use the distinguished heavenly gods to control you to achieve my goal. The Mangekyo Sharingan in Shisui's eyes turned wildly, staring into Serutobi Hirazan's eyes, and said decisively. Yes? The ultimate pupil technique that controls people's thoughts. Danzo, that should be the case. Shisui, if it's you, I can accept it too. 
I also believe that under your leadership, Konoha and Uchiha's problems will be resolved. But, you have to promise me. Konoha is everyone's Konoha, not Uchiha's sleepy spit. Otherwise, the old man will risk his life to stop you. Serutobi Hiruzen already approved of Shisui in his heart after hearing that Shisui just wanted to control them, not kill them for force change. But Serutobi Hiruzen still wants to give a warning, and test Shisui's bottom line by the way. Or rather, the bottom line for Uchiha, as for real resistance? Sorry, Serutobi Hiruzen really didn't have that idea. The five double eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is not something that the current Konoha can resist. Serutobi Hiruzen is very sure that after the war, there may be casualties in Uchiha, but Konoha village will definitely be destroyed. Don't forget, there is also a Nine Tails Jinchuriki in Konoha. Mangekyo of the Uchiha family is an expert in manipulating tailed beasts. Please don't worry about this, Uchiha has always been Uchiha of Konoha. Together with Uchiha, I will risk my life to protect Konoha. The joy in Shisui's eyes was fleeting, and he patted his chest for assurance. It seems that they have won. Then, it's decided. The future of Konoha is entrusted to you. 5th Hokage, Uchiha Shisui. Serutobi Hiruzen breathed a sigh of relief, looked straight at Shisui with sharp eyes, and said solemnly. Serutobi, third generation project. Udatane Kaharu and Mitokado Homura's complexion changed at the same time, and they were about to say something, but they were stopped by Serutobi Hiruzen's eyes as soon as they opened their mouths. Ha ha. If you don't talk, I almost forgot. Kaharu, Homura, in the name of Third Hokage, I relieve you of your Hokage advisors. At the same time, the root of Danzo, also handed over to Uchiha Itachi. Well, that's it. Shisui, I will send a note to the Fire Country Daimyo in these few days. You are ready to prepare for the succession ceremony for the purpose of the fifth generation. The entourage is the responsibility of the root. Itachi, I entrust the safety of this old man to you. Serutobi Hiruzen let out an embarrassed laugh, and arranged in a smooth and sophisticated way. He has already resigned from third generation, and it is not suitable for these two friends to be Hokage consultants. If it is not done well, there will be a disaster of death. Then I would like to thank third generation for understanding. Let's take our leave. Shisui looked at the white-haired old man who was dying in front of him, with a flash of complexity and admiration in his eyes, he bowed his head slightly and said respectfully. Fugaku, I want to know one last thing. Did Uchiha get involved in the Nine Tails Rebellion seven years ago? Just when Fugaku was about to leave, Serutobi Hiruzen asked suddenly. Fugaku paused, turned his head and squinted at Serutobi Hiruzen, the Scarlet Mangekyo exuded breathtaking scarlet. No, Uchiha didn't have that ability at the time. We have also been secretly tracking down the murderer. Third generation, do you think Uchiha's meddling was as simple as the Nine Tails Rebellion? Fugaku hummed indifferently, turned and left. Zuozi and the others also left quickly. It seems that they are not worried about the third generation going back on their word. Serutobi, why did you promise them? Now that they're gone, shall we? Udatane Kaharu asked angrily immediately after several people left. Kaharu, I advise you to give up that idea. Uchiha's current strength is no longer something that Konoha can compete with. For the sake of Konoha, this is also an unavoidable thing. Fortunately, they chose Shisui, which is not a bad thing. Uchiha is also an attitude that yearns for a peaceful solution to the incident. Anyway, it was decided. You guys don't want to be like Danzo either. Serutobi Hiruzen turned his head to stare at Udatane Kaharu and Mitokado Homura, his attitude changed abruptly, and he shouted firmly. As long as Konoha can be saved, he Serutobi Hiruzen can sacrifice anyone, including himself. At the insistence of third generation, the next day the village began to build momentum for Uchiha Shisui. A few days later, Uchiha Shisui, officially taking over as fifth Hokage, came back as the third generation visited the Fire Nation daimyo. The next day, the Konoha Guard was broken up and reorganized by Shisui. Uchiha elites, depending on their character, go into Anbu or Root respectively. A small number of doves and mediocre talents continued to stay in the Konoha Guard. Other ordinary ninjas or ninjas of big and small families will be used to enrich the ordinary staff of the guard. Uchiha Fugaku stepped down as the captain of the guard to serve as a fifth Hokage advisor. Everything that happened in Konoha spread quickly in several major countries. The name of fifth Hokage Uchiha Shisui resounds throughout the ninja world. Okay, we should go back. 
Shisui, take care of little Naruto. Standing in front of the time machine, Naruto instructed Shisui who was wearing a Hokage hat and a Hokage robe. Don't worry, I will protect little Naruto and Konoha. Little Naruto is now adopted by the patriarch's wife. He will grow up with Sasuke and encourage each other. Shisui looked at Naruto gratefully, nodded politely. Without Naruto's intervention, the current Uchiha might have been wiped out. Itachi, goodbye. The adult Itachi and Seiko also bid farewell to the young Itachi. Well, I will protect my family this time. The young Itachi looked at the two of them and solemnly promised. Naruto was still in a hurry to go back to see the harvest and impact of this time, shouted, and pressed the start button of the time machine. In an instant, the time machine turned into a phantom and disappeared. Meanwhile, in the Kamui space, Obito looked at the note in his hand, his face was uncertain. Last time, this note accidentally fell on the corner of the Kamui space. Just seen by Obito today. Konoha. Obito threw away the note casually, whispering with bloodthirsty eyes. Konoha 60 years location, behind Konoha village. Time, the second before and after Naruto's time travel. A dark wormhole suddenly appeared, and Naruto suddenly appeared with several people on board. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Konoha in the parallel world and get 50,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of the Uchiha family in the parallel world and get 3,000 tons of Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Uchiha Shisui in the parallel world and get 30,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the trajectory of Uchiha Itachi in the parallel world and get 20,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Uzumaki Naruto in the parallel world and get 5,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Uchiha Sasuke in the parallel world and get 5,000 Honkai points. Tips. Change the trajectory of Uchiha Itachi's fate and get 20,000 Honkai points. As soon as Naruto appeared in this world, a series of prompts sounded in his ears. Hearing these hints, the corners of Naruto's mouth raised unconsciously. In this way, it is really verified. Going back to the past will not only not affect the present, but will also gain collapse points. It seems that if the phone booth is still very reliable, then next time, you can let go of your hands and feet. This time, a total of 160,000 Honkai points were harvested, and after excluding the 20,000 travel expenses already consumed, a net profit of 140,000 was obtained. Uh, the replica mirror is Naruto's own consumption and cannot be counted. Now Naruto's remaining Honkai points are 162,750 points. Here is Konoha. Uchiha Itachi looked around at the surrounding scenery and questioned in surprise. Well, we came back from Konoha five years ago, so here is Konoha. We just travel through time, space does not change. Naruto looked at Uchiha Itachi and Sakura who looked puzzled, and explained. Itachi, although you have your reasons, but I still don't agree with your approach. You go. I'll pretend I haven't seen you. Seiko stared at Uchiha Itachi with a complicated expression, and the momentum on his body changed, and he shouted in a cool voice. Cough cough. We still have work to do. Seiko. Let's leave here together. Naruto waved and took out a pink portal and stood in front of them, opened the door and coughed dryly. Through the portal, the figure of dried persimmon ghost shark appeared on the opposite side. That's right, this is Doraemon's common prop, any door. Naruto who is rich and powerful, doesn't care about the consumption of 1000 points at all. Naruto, who has figured out how to quickly collect Honkai points, doesn't worry about it at all now. Naru, Naruto, you are amazing, little Sakura yelled excitedly, and rushed across the portal to experience the fun of any door. Seiko looked at Naruto hesitantly, thought about it for a while, felt embarrassed, gritted his teeth and walked over. As Naruto said before, don't ask, you just don't know. This sentence made Zuozi suppress the doubts in his heart. Naruto, go by yourself. I want to see the changed Konoha, and then I will leave by myself. Uchiha Itachi straightened his face, and then he thought of something, and said nervously. There's no need for this. We change the past without affecting the present. It will continue to develop on another parallel line, that is, another world. Here, it is still the previous world. Otherwise, you are not a traitor now, but a root leader. Naruto stretched lazily, teasingly. Parallel lines? Another world? Uchiha Itachi's pupils widened, his face was pale and he murmured. Naruto didn't care what he thought, and pushed him through any door. 
if it wasn't for Naruto's plan to leave the distinguished heavenly gods to that person, he would have taken Uchiha Itachi as his younger brother. Permanent distinguished heavenly gods cooldown period, but very long. Even with Hashirama cells, it's the same, it is not impossible to use props to recover, but it is unnecessary. Passing through any door, several people stood in front of the dull-eyed Ganshi Gixi again. Goodbye, then. Naruto took Seiko and little Sakura, greeted Uchiha Itachi, turned around and left neatly. Uchiha Itachi wanted to ask something, but he couldn't get it out of his mouth. In the end, I could only silently watch the three of them leave. After a while, Guishia's illusion failed, and he immediately looked around warily. Can only see Uchiha Itachi alone, standing beside him. The capture of Nine Tails Jinchuriki failed, let's go. Uchiha Itachi put on a paralyzed face as usual, glanced at Kisame, and said indifferently. Kisame naturally had no objection, and immediately followed Uchiha Itachi and left. The strength of the Nine Tails Jinchuriki may only be rivaled by the leader of Rinnegan. Naruto. Where are we going now? The little Sakura followed Naruto, the blush on her face flashed, and she asked in a delicate voice. Booklet Street. A flash of anticipation flashed in Naruto's eyes, and he solemnly said while looking ahead. Knowing that Naruto will appear there just now, the goal now is naturally very clear. Before, he was waiting for Uchiha Itachi, the group was hanging around. While the three of Naruto went to Book Street to find Tsunade. Obito, the masked man, also appeared in Konoha. He is the Mangekio Sharingan who sneaked over to find Seiko and poach her. Obito, who lacked information, did not know that Seiko had left the village. Of course, Obito's first stop back to Konoha is to pay homage to Nohara Lin at the memorial monument. Under the blue sky and broad daylight, Obito was wearing a black robe and a tiger striped mask, like a Shinigami, out of tune with the surrounding environment, standing silently in front of Lin's tombstone, wondering what he was thinking. Lin, wait for me. I will definitely create a world with you. No matter how difficult it is, I will never give up. After a long time, there was a trace of sadness in Obito's eyes, and he murmured heavily to himself. Immediately, Obito was about to turn around and leave. But the moment he turned around, he saw his tombstone out of the corner of his eyes. In front of the tombstone, two bouquets of flowers were placed on it, and the fresh and tangy aroma made Obito's heart agitated. Why are there two bouquets of flowers on his tombstone? At this moment, Obito seemed to have noticed something, the space around him twisted and disappeared quickly. Two seconds after Obito disappeared, two figures appeared in front of Nohara Lin's tombstone. Kakashi, I wanted to say that when we came here just now. Better dig it out. In the past ten years, because of the teacher's warning, I have never been here once. This tombstone looks like it hurts me. Rin Nohara hugged Kakashi's arm and said in a coquettish tone. Okay. You have the final say on this matter. Kakashi shrugged helplessly, and said in a slightly doting voice. Anyway, it's Lin's empty grave, she just needs to make the decision herself. Then when will we get married? I have already been approved by my uncle. Moreover, Guy and Xuanma already know of my existence. Do we still want to live together so vaguely? In case, in case I get pregnant, it will be embarrassing. Seeing that Kakashi was in a good mood, Rin Nohara looked shy and took the initiative to attack. In Konoha's collapse plan, Guy and Genma have already known about Lin's appearance. Afterwards, Kakashi also invited friends from the same period to reintroduce Lin's existence. Okay, okay. After Konoha stabilizes, we will get married. Kakashi felt a bit of shyness on his face when he was generalized like this, he rubbed his head and decided. Not this time, I want you to propose to me. Yi Yuanlin achieved her goal, she was not beautiful in her heart, but as a woman, she still pouts and hums coquettishly. Uh, okay. Kakashi rolled his eyes speechlessly and replied in a low voice, not understanding the meaning of this. When the two were flirting, Obito, who was hiding in the shade of a tree in the distance, looked at the backs of the two, and the anger in his eyes surged like a mountain torrent. Kakashi, I didn't expect you to be like this. Lin, I will prove that I am the one who loves you the most. Obito looked at the back in the distance, secretly thinking with jealousy and unwilling resentment. The current Dalin has long hair reaching her waist wearing Ambu standard equipment, and a mask hanging on the side of her face, just covering her face. In such a situation, Obito behind them didn't recognize Lin's identity at all. Obito now simply thinks that Kakashi is talking about an Ambu object, and also openly shows his presence in front of Lin's tombstone. 
Thinking that Kakashi was the captain of Anbu before, Obito confirmed his guess. Most importantly, Kakashi actually promised the woman that he would dig up Lin's grave. This made Obito unacceptable. Even though Obito had already regarded Kakashi as a dead person, he couldn't hold back the killing intent in his heart at this moment. Who? Cage level Kakashi's strength and quality are so keen, almost at the moment Obito showed his killing intent. Immediately straightening Lin's Anbu mask, she stared sharply at the place where Obito was hiding and shouted loudly. Anbu's identity is extremely secretive, it is very dangerous to be easily known by the enemy. Lin, Anbu's support staff, is even more so. As the former captain of Anbu, Kakashi naturally understands the deep meaning. Only then will there be an action to help Lin put on the mask. Such a keen sense of smell, worthy of the famous copy ninja Hitaki Kakashi. At this time, Obito also had murderous intentions towards Kakashi and that Anbu female ninja, without any intention of hiding, he walked out and said coldly. The Scarlet Three Tomo Sharingan under the tiger striped mask exuded a blood red killing intent, approaching the two of them. Toby, go ask Jiraiya sama over. This time, we may meet a big fish. Seeing the Scarlet Sharingan, Kakashi looked serious, pulled out the White Fang short sword, and said in a low voice. Kite is Nohara Rin's code name in Anbu. Kakashi, who is experienced, will naturally not call him by his first name. I know, be careful. Lin is no longer at the age of being emotional, so she naturally knows the priorities, so she promises, casts the body flicker technique and leaves. With Kakashi's strength, Lin is completely assured that he will be fine for the time being. Don't even try to escape. Obito's eyes sharpened, chakra exploded under his feet, and his figure was like a ghost, quickly dodging behind Lin. But Kakashi's speed is also not weak, his figure flashes like lightning and blocks in front of Obito, and the cold Mangekyo Sharingan stares at Obito full of murderous intent. Kakashi has no intention of holding back the enemy who wants to kill Lin. Mangekyo Sharingan. Obito stared at Kakashi's left eye in bewilderment, and lost his voice in horror. Before Kakashi's change, because of the revision effect of world consciousness, his name in the fact of Sharingan, did not change. All that changes is his cage level strength, and the free shut Mangekyo Sharingan. In Obito's knowledge, the copy ninja Kakashi does have a three tomo Sharingan. But definitely not Mangekyo, and it can't be Mangekyo. This is why Obito subconsciously filtered Kakashi when he analyzed Mangekyo last time. But these are secondary. The important thing is Kakashi's left eye Mangekyo, the pattern is exactly the same as his. This leaves Obito bewildered. Could it be that Kakashi is the one with the same eye ability as him? At the moment when Obito was confused, Lin also seized the opportunity and left quickly. You were from the Uchiha tribe. You were involved in the Nine Tails Rebellion twelve years ago, and the Uchiha genocide five years ago. Who are you? Kakashi held the knife in his right hand turned Mangekyo Sharingan with his left eye, and opened his mouth tentatively. Last time, Fugaku told the truth about Genocide Knight and his guess about Uchiha Masked Man, but Kakashi heard every word. That's when I saw the Sharingan Masked Man for the first time, and let Lin inform Jiraiya. You know a lot. Only after hitting me, you are qualified to know. Obito was woken up by Kakashi's questioning, ignored Lin who was running away, a chain appeared in his hand, and shouted excitedly. He wants to test out whether Kakashi's pupil technique is the one linked to his Kamui space. While Obito was speaking, he leapt forward, and threw himself at Kakashi with wide open arms. This kind of attack move is too childish. Kakashi's eyes were slightly cold, and he let out a low snort of disdain. The white fang short sword in his hand emitted a dazzling white glow, and he put it on. Under Kakashi's Mangekyo Sharingan, the opponent is Mami. In the blink of an eye, White Fang Short Sword meets Obito's body. But at this moment, Kakashi's pupils shrank, showing incredible color. I saw that the other party's body penetrated through his origin force without hindrance. How is this possible? While Kakashi was surprised, Obito's body passed through his body as if unreal. At the moment when it passed through his body, the chain in Obito's hand suddenly solidified, restraining Kakashi's body in an instant. It seems that your strength is nothing more than this. Then you're Mangekyo, I accept it. Obito's eyes sharpened, and he stretched out his hand to gouge Kakashi's left eye, while trembling excitedly. Kakashi seemed to be frightened, and just watched the other's fingers getting closer and closer. Chidori stream. The moment Obito touched Kakashi, Kakashi raised the corner of his mouth hidden under the mask and shouted in a low voice. 
In an instant, countless electric arcs flickered from Kakashi's body, and Obito, who was close at hand, was naturally the only target to be attacked. Just now, Kakashi quickly formulated this attack strategy after knowing that the opponent can change his body at will. When the opponent attacks, counterattack, instant lightning style. Such a powerful lightning style ninjutsu, but it's a bit close. Obito was in the midst of lightning, like a god of thunder walking in the world, staring at Kakashi without emotion and said indifferently. But under the calm and indifferent appearance, Obito can't help but feel scared in his heart. Just now, he deliberately said those words to test Kakashi's pupil technique. So he was in a hollow state just now. If he really converted the entity at that time, he would not be killed, but he would definitely be injured. Cunning fellow. Kakashi thought that the other party saw something, complained in his heart, his figure retreated a few meters away, and looked at Obito vigilantly. As for that chain, it was shattered by Chidoryu long ago. Although I don't know what kind of ninjutsu it is. However, it has been determined that he will materialize when attacking. Then, as long as my speed is faster than his transformation speed, I can seize the moment of his transformation and counterattack. Guy, thank you. Kakashi made a quick analysis in his heart, determination flashed in his eyes, and his aura suddenly changed. Eight inner gates open the gate, the gate of life, the gate of rest, the gate of injury. Kakashi's body was tense, he frowned and let out a low drink, and opened the fourth gate in an instant. In an instant, the tyrannical chakra wind pressure broke out from Kakashi's body, pressing in all directions. At the same time, Kakashi's skin became like a boiled hero, and his forehead, neck, arms and other muscle tissues were bulging with blue veins. Green chakra airwaves surround Kakashi like a special effect. This is one of the benefits that Kakashi got after the fusion of the two bodies. Thanks to years of uninterrupted gymnastics training, Kakashi's eight inner gates now is more than just opening the gates before. This kind of move, is he going to? Seeing Kakashi's outburst, Obito's expression hidden under the mask changed, and he was confused. His hollow ability can only last for five minutes. If Kakashi found a weakness by mistake, wouldn't it be a steal? He's here to grab another Kamui eye, not to expose his intelligence. Well, of course Obito doesn't know the proverb, that's what it means. After Kakashi quickly stabilized the state of the fourth gate, the green on on his body was entangled, and the white fang short sword in his hand was also dyed with a touch of green fluorescence. Ah, uh, Kakashi is green and stronger. With a low shout, his figure disappeared under Obito's gaze like electricity. Almost at the moment of disappearing, Kakashi's white fang short sword slashed across Obito's body. It's a pity that at this time, the day is still in a state of transformation. Is it still like that? Then the only thing we can do is speed up the attack and look for loopholes. A sharp light flashed in Kakashi's eyes, his figure disappeared quickly, and he slashed at Obito again in an instant. In an instant, Kakashi turned into afterimages, attacking Obito in all directions like teleportation. With the blessing of Mangekio Sharingan, Kakashi can still clearly capture Obito's movements and control himself. Because Kakashi is too fast, Obito's body is covered with Kakashi's afterimage almost instantly. This scene is very similar to the battle scene between Shao Li and Gara. No, it should be in a stronger state than Shao Li. Because Kakashi, but the eight inner gates with cage level strength open. Even the current might guy is only at the level of elite Jonin. It was in this situation that Kakashi continued to attack for three minutes without a break, and Obito also hollow endured the three minutes of uninterrupted attacks. Can't go on like this. If he finds out that I only have five minutes of hollow secret it, the consequences will be even more serious. Obito looked at Kakashi who was still attacking, determination flashed in his eyes, and his hands began to seal. Are you finally going to do it? This time, I will seize that moment. Seeing Obito's movements, Kakashi felt a vote in his heart, and the white fang short sword in his hand was even more powerful, and his speed increased again. Fire style Bangfungranwu. Obito quickly completed the seal, let out a low drink, the Mangekio Sharingan in his right eye flickered, the space around him twisted, and a fiery fire snake appeared instantly. With Obito as the center, protect him in a spiral shape in an instant. This is Obito using Kamui, warping the surrounding space and creating a storm, before spitting out a huge fire snake to attack. The effect is that the attack range is large and the attack speed is extremely fast. Even if Kakashi is extremely fast, facing such a large scale indiscriminate attack, he can only temporarily avoid the edge. However, because of this, Kakashi saw the opportunity to attack the opponent. 
The distance is too far, but this opportunity must be seized. Kamui. Seeing this inexplicably familiar scene, Kakashi didn't have time to think about it, his left eye stared at part of Obito's body, and activated the pupil technique. He also needs to keep Obito's head and steal the intel. On the opposite side, Obito, who was in a half-hollow state, suddenly felt a distortion in the space around him, and a familiar traction seemed to pull him in. This feeling. Obito's heart was horrified, his eyes were full of joy, and the Mangekyo in his right eye moved, rapidly expanding the pulling force of this space. In an instant, Obito's body disappeared. How come? Seeing this, Kakashi cried out in a stunned voice. He obviously just wanted to transfer part of his body, how could he transfer all of it away? Inside the Kamui space, it's really him, Kakashi. Unexpectedly, the person who awakened the Mangekyo pupil technique like me was actually an outsider without Uchiha blood. Then, there is no need to look for that Sasuke. Kakashi, I want your eyes. Obito looked at the familiar Kamui space around him, and shouted excitedly with fiery eyes. While speaking, the right eye Mangekyo turned, and the figure distorted again and disappeared. Outside world Kakashi, with a confused face, just closed the eight inner gates, and saw a distortion in the space, and the man with the tiger striped mask appeared again. How can that be? Kakashi has always regarded Kamui as a space pupil technique for strangling and deflecting attacks. But this person can actually appear again. The information here is terribly thoughtful. Could it be that the thing that was transferred was not, as he thought, an unknown exile space? However, it is difficult for Kakashi to transfer only part of the body or attack, what if transfer a complete person? This is the rhythm of registration at Konoha Hospital. Kakashi was sweating profusely on his forehead, and stood stiffly in place, looking at Obito vigilantly, which was a side effect of eight inner gates. Also, this is why Naruto cannot find Obito through the left eye, Kamui. What Naruto copied was Kakashi's Kamui eyes before the fusion of the two bodies. Although after Naruto's intensive training and the increase of eternal Mangekyo, Naruto's development of Kamui has not reached the level of transferring himself or others. This is also the reason why Naruto has the ability to copy gloves and lazy development. Waiting for Obito to appear, wouldn't it be nice to copy him directly? You can also get a full Kamui eye. Development? Why bother? The sequelae of the eight inner gates, have you temporarily immobilized? Then your eyes, I accept it. Knowing the eight inner gates, Obito's eyes flashed brightly, and he shouted proudly, stretching out his hand like Kakashi's left eye. Obito, who knows the Kakashi pupil technique, is not afraid of his Kamui at all now. Chidori Sharp Spear Kakashi looked at Obito who was getting closer, and forced himself to arouse Chakra. At the moment Obito stepped up, he gave a low shout, and the white fang short sword in his hand suddenly rose several meters. It's useless, I won't. How? How is it possible? Obito activated the hollow ability, ignoring the Chidori sharp gun's attack, only had time to say a few words of pride, then looked at his body in astonishment, and shouted in terror. At the place where his body was in contact with the Chidori sharp spear, there was a spatially distorted, blue straight Chidori sharp gun, illusory and distorted. And Obito's waist, a bright red. It seems that my guess is correct. My pupil technique can interfere and hurt you. This is also the reason why you can break free from my pupil technique. In other words, our pupil technique is in a common unknown space. You have been seen through by me. The Mangekyo in Kakashi's left eye turned, staring at Obito sharply, and his voice exploded in Obito's ear like thunder on the ground. It was seen through. How can that be? Kakashi, is this the level of your genius? Obito stared at with wide eyes, staring at Kakashi in disbelief thinking for a moment the fear of being dominated by the genius Kakashi in his youth, and thought unwillingly. Is that so? It seems that my guess is right, our pupil skills restrain each other. And, it is very likely to be connected in a different space. Seeing the surprised eyes under the mask, Kakashi said with confidence. His actions and words just now were all testing the other party. The words and actions of the so-called ninja at any time may be just a disguise and temptation. The never-ending camouflage and deception is the wonderful interpretation of ninja battles. Knowing that Kamui was restrained by the opponent, Kakashi directly did the opposite, and Kamui transferred his Chidori sharp gun. So far, it looks good. Summoning Toad's mouth bondage technique. At this moment, a rough voice sounded in the ears of the two, and the surrounding space was instantly wrapped by a layer of flesh. Come on, it is Jiraiya, one of the Sanin, Hitaki Kakashi, 
I will come to you again. Obito, who was wounded by the Chidori sharp gun, saw Jiraiya, turned his head and threw a harsh word at Kakashi, and started Kamui to leave. Of course Kakashi refused to let Obito go, and immediately cast Kamui to counteract the opponent's moves. Obito, under the blessing of Hashirama cells, can perform the pupil technique even faster, and the figure distorts and disappears quickly. And Kamui, who Kakashi took a beat slower, just shifted a piece of the stomach wall of the big toad. What ninjutsu is this? Jiraiya lost her voice in astonishment when she saw where Obito left. Ninja world inside a cave of huge animal bones. The calm space twisted abruptly, and a figure appeared strangely. Cough cough cough. Damn Kakashi, actually developed such a powerful Chidori derived ninjutsu. In this case, the only thing to do is to continue filling the Hashirama cells. Next time, next time when I'm ready, I must kill you and that stinking woman, and take your Mangekyo Sharingan. Obito took off his mask, looked down at the wound on his waist, frowned, and the expression on his face showed resentment, and said bitterly. He didn't know at all that the stinky woman he wanted to kill was the goddess Nohara Lin he had in mind. Perhaps, this is also a kind of happiness. After knowing the truth, I am afraid that the leader will collapse directly. No, you can't wait too long. Now, Kakashi has already guessed that our pupil technique space is connected, so he can't give him a chance to plot against me. It seems that we still have to rely on Akatsuki's power. Obito thought of Kakashi's last guess, bloodthirsty light flashed in his eyes, and he said coldly with murderous intent. While Obito was healing himself, Kakashi also told Jiraiya about the masked man and his own speculation. In other words, we can directly find the masked man through your Mangekyo. On the contrary, he may also directly find you through that pupil technique. Maybe, that's why he's staring at you. The different space behind that pupil technique is the crux of the problem. Kakashi, I created a shadow clone, you send him into that space to search for information. After hearing Kakashi's information, Jiraiya raised her hand and rubbed her chin to think about it, then suddenly her eyes lit up and she spoke. I can't teleport a target the size of a person right now. Kakashi waved his hands helplessly, showing an awkward yet polite smile, and said embarrassingly. Is that so? Then sending a little toad over there can do it. My shadow clone hides in the toad, just send the toad in. Jiraiya rolled his eyes, thought of his toad hidden technique, and spoke out his thoughts. Kakashi's eyes lit up when he heard the words. Not to mention a little toad, even his ninja dog Parker, he can pass by gnashing his teeth. This method really works. But in order to avoid alarming the enemy, wait for two days of my cultivation before starting to act. Kakashi thought for a moment and decided, he still decided to play it safe, so as not to have any accidents, without Chakra and Tongli interfering with each other. Jiraiya agreed without thinking, and suggested that Kakashi come and go with him these days. Kakashi naturally readily agrees to this. The other side. Naruto brought the second daughter of Zuo Sakura to the famous gambling town Bamboo Street. The next step is to slowly look for and wait here. Little Sakura, Seiko, can move freely now. I'll go back and take a shower first. After checking into a luxury hotel, Naruto gave instructions to Sakura's second daughter after putting down his luggage, turned around and returned to his room. Little Sakura and Seiko looked at each other, and each went back to their rooms. After Naruto returned to the room, he didn't go to rest as he said. Instead, he sat down cross-legged, and his consciousness entered the sealed space. Doraemon, Kurama, are you ready? As soon as Naruto's consciousness appeared, he said to the two who had been waiting for a long time. Naruto, I'm ready. However, I always feel that your method is unreliable. I am not responsible for any accidents. Doraemon took out a small bottle and handed it to Naruto, to get rid of the relationship first. What's the surprise? Kurama, do you have any objections? Naruto excitedly took the small medicine bottle turned his head and said to Nine Tails who was equally excited. Of course I don't mind. Naruto, I am very much looking forward to their arrival. Nine Tails showed a rare look of excitement and a fox laugh, and hummed with his eyes shining. Opinion. What's your opinion? This is helping it reduce pressure, share risks, and counter the opponent, how could Nine Tails have any objections? So, here we go. Naruto grinned, opened the small medicine bottle in his hand, and shook Nine Tails' huge body forcefully, and a drop of medicine liquid was thrown out by him. This drop of liquid medicine is exactly the double liquid of Doraemon's horror props. Worth 100,000 bit by bit, it is a heaven-defying prop that can split the matrix. 
although due to restrictions, only 100 daughters can be split, and the quality is not as good as that of the mother. But in the face of the number of 109 tails, this is not a problem. Under the intense gaze of Naruto and Doraemon, a mass of energy slowly emerged from Kurama's body, and was soon separated. A nine tails demon fox, half the size of nine tails, manifested from that mass of energy. Success. Although it is only half the size of nine tails, it is still comparable to Wentai. Naruto looked at the splinter in surprise, surprised inexplicably shouted. You, are my split body? Kurama also looked at the nine tails with curious eyes and asked. Matrix, I am equivalent to your existence. Just body shape and chakra, not as much as yours, but otherwise identical. According to my estimation, my chakra should have the level of eight tails. The splinter, nine tails, blinked and stared at Kurama, explaining. Ha ha ha. It seems that my thinking, you also inherited. However, there is only one Kurama, and that is me. You give yourself a name. Kurama was also happy with the success of the experiment, burst into laughter, and shouted loudly. Split body nine tails looked at the tall Kurama and was speechless. You are the boss, you have the final say. While the two nine tails were talking, a mass of energy emerged from them again, and they began to split. In the blink of an eye, two more nine tails were separated. But this time the two nine tails split bodies have a huge difference in size. The nine tails split from the Kurama mother body is not much different from the first one. But the nine tails from the first split body are only half of Wentai's size. When this happens, it means that the quality of the split body is not as good as that of the parent body. Huh. My chakra, why is there only so much? It is estimated that it is similar to the worst three tails chakra. The nine tails, who was only half the size of Wentai, tilted his head and asked in surprise. Don't be surprised, this is normal, Naruto yelled at the splinter. The current four nine tails are divided according to the amount of chakra, one mother nine tails, two eight tails version nine tails, and one three tails version nine tails. Soon, the four nine tails split again, and four nine tails splits appeared again in the sealed space. As usual, one eight tails nine tails, two three tails nine tails, and one smaller nine tails. Why am I so unlucky? It's also nine tails, why do I only have as little chakra as Wen Tai's little brother? The nine tails, who was as big as a big house, cried out with a mournful face. There is no way, this is a geometric split. Soon, the eight nine tails began to split again. This time, the situation was somewhat unexpected by Naruto and Kurama. The nine tails split body with weak body size and strength splits faster than the stronger split body. The Wentai version of nine tails split the time of the third generation, and the three tails version of nine tails only split a generation. As for the eight tails version of nine tails and nine tails mother body, half of them have not yet split. What's even more frightening is that the one or two third generation split out of Wentai edition split even faster, almost every second. Under this unequal split, 109 tails splits quickly emerged. Because of the limitation of the number, the split body does not grow geometrically. Now, division by chakra quantity and split body algebra is. First generation nine tails, one only. Karama. Second generation nine tails, three only. Eight tails version. Third generation nine tails, four only. Three tails version. Fourth generation nine tails, post. Wen Yin version. Fifth generation nine tails, eight only. Shippuden Toad Yoshi version. Sixth generation nine tails, 32 PCs. Toad Zhang version level. Seventh generation nine tails, 50 PCs. Akamaru version. Mama, are you my mama? I'm so hungry, I want to eat chakra. A few 7th generation 9 tails surrounded the 6th generation 9 tails curiously, asking in a baby voice. More are lying on the ground sprawled, are smelling the smell and running towards the 3rd generation, 4th generation, 5th generation 9 tails. Uh, how could I be your mama? I'm still a kid. Right, mama. A 6th generation 9 tails flicked its 9 tails uninterruptedly turned around and jumped on the fifth generation nine tails head and lowered its head and asked. Naruto, what's going on? Why, would they say such a thing? Seeing this, the first second generation nine tails quickly cast its eyes on Naruto and said with a headache. Other generations of nine tails, also turned their attention to Naruto. Especially Kurama, looking at those little dots under his feet, he had a vague feeling. Cough cough. Under the influence of the will of the world, 
the double liquid split body will be inferior to the parent body in quality. Before, I thought it was just a matter of strength. Now it seems that no matter the strength or the IQ part, they are all the same. Looking at the situation, it seems that only the fission bodies above the fifth generation have not been affected. As soon as Naruto rolled his eyes, he figured out the reason, rubbed his nose and said in embarrassment. Although a little unexpected, Naruto is still very contented. Without him, if 109 tails were really split, it would break the six sealed space. Now there are only three for second generation, four for third generation, and two for fourth generation, which makes him feel like he has reached the end. Fortunately, the total amount of nine tails chakra after fifth generation is not as good as one third generation nine tails, which greatly relieved Naruto's pressure. 6. Although the seventh generation nine tails are small, they are also nine tails. It is not bad at all in essence, and it is also an existence that can grow into Karama. This wave is not bad. Now Naruto is also a one-man army. May I ask, which organization or village in the ninja world can be crushed by one nine tails, three eight tails, four three tails, and two bundas? This feeling swells. Tip. Change the nine tails settings of important characters to get 500,000 Honkai points. Suddenly, a crisp prompt sounded in the ears of Naruto and Doraemon. 5. Half a million. Doraemon's eyes almost popped out, and he looked at Naruto with shortness of breath and screamed. Well, it's half a million. Naruto was also a little surprised, and answered mechanically with a distracted mind. In Naruto's expectation, there will definitely be a Honkai point. But he didn't expect it to be half a million. Then, the other eight tailed beasts are all walking half a million. This feeling, what a cool word. This wave of blood earns. Naruto. What are you going to do with these splinters? It is not a good choice to keep them here. Kurama has long been accustomed to Naruto and Doraemon's inexplicable calls, so he interrupted his imagination and asked. Well, pre-fourth generation split nine tails, if you want, I'll find a suitable Jinshuriki for you. If you don't want to, I'll help you build a holy place and let you lead the little nine tails after the fifth generation to build a tailed beast summoning holy place. Naruto gave a dry cough looked at the large and small nine tails splinters, and explained his method. Let the popular characters who are not Jinchuriki become nine tails Jinchuriki, and you can get wool again. The small book in Naruto's heart is clear. I choose Uchiha Seiko, she is your teammate, so we can take care of each other. The first second generation nine tails that split off immediately opened its mouth. Oh, don't say it's so high sounding, you still value her as the reincarnation of Indra. Everyone is nine tails, who doesn't know what you think. The second second generation nine tails gave a disdainful look and said arrogantly. They also know the future that Kurama knows from Naruto. Naruto, I will follow your arrangement. However, I would still like to stay here. Didn't the mother always want to go out? I am willing to stay in his place. The third second generation nine tails seems to be honest and docile. Get out. The old man will not go out. Hearing that. Kurama immediately yelled at that nine tails glaring at him. Who doesn't know that Naruto is the safest here? What's more, there is the existence of the super boss Doraemon. That's why Kurama lingered. This split body, don't worry about it. Kurama stared at the nine tails as if he wanted to swallow it. The second generation nine tails, not to be outdone, burst into chakra, confronting it. As the saying goes, losers never lose. At this time, it can't lose face. As for the nine tails after the third generation and the fourth generation, they crouched their necks to watch the bosses fight each other, like a melon eating crowd. Okay. Don't be angry, Kurama, we are all family. As long as you are willing, I will not abandon you. Naruto looked a little embarrassed at the scene, and hurriedly opened his mouth to break the deadlock. As the old saying goes, one mountain cannot accommodate two tigers, let alone nine tails, the strongest tail beast. I will create the summoning holy land for you first, and I will talk about other things later. You now take Chingchu as your surname and give yourself a name. Naruto's sharp eyes swept over the nine tails before the fifth generation one by one, and said seriously. As for the sixth, seventh generation, IQ is underdeveloped, so it's still casual. Chingchu? What does it mean? Why not Karama as a surname? The first second generation nine tails grabbed the huge fox's head in confusion, and said in confusion. Chingchu is your future habitat, although you are all split from Kurama. But I hope that you will all grow into real individuals, not replicas of Kurama. Kurama, there is only one. 
Naruto looked at the crowd of nine tails, with a holy light on his face, admonishing like a saint. Well, he purely because of too many nine tails messed him up. Unaware, the fifth generation nine tails showed a touch of emotion and thought, and looked at Naruto with burning eyes, with complicated expressions. Naruto, now you really have the demeanor of an old man from six paths. There was also a trace of nostalgia and sparkle in Karama's eyes, looking at Naruto's back and secretly thinking. Under the eager attention of many nine tails, Naruto once again spent 100,000 Honkai points to find Doraemon and realize the phone booth. He has no ability to build a holy place now, so he can only cheat. If, I have a legendary summoning secret realm Chingchu Mountain. Holding the handle of the phone, Naruto spoke his thoughts word by word. In the next second, as the phone booth disappeared, Naruto felt a strange place. But this place, he can't just throw it away. Instead, it needs to pass through the seal, just like the summoning technique. The only difference is that it does not use blood as a medium. Thinking of that place, Naruto's consciousness returned to his body in an instant, his hands quickly formed mudras, and slapped on the tatami. Inverse summoning technique. Following Naruto's low voice, a puff of white smoke drifted past, and his body disappeared instantly. Moments after Naruto's body left the room, a sneaky and slim figure ran in. Naruto, Naruto, last time you said uh? Where are people? The little Sakura, who had washed up, was wearing a pink home dress, walked in with a pretty face, and hadn't finished speaking. I was poured a basin of cold water by the empty room. This time, she finally made up her mind to attack Naruto at night. Didn't realize it. That's it. Unwilling little Sakura bit her lip and struggled for a while, but decided to wait and see. In Naruto's previous life, Chingchu Mountain was the habitat of the legendary Nine Tails Fox Clan, the Tushan Clan. This is also what Naruto blurted out, directly calling out the name of Chingchu Mountain. In the secret realm shrouded in white mist, a white smoke drifted past, and Naruto's figure appeared here. As soon as it appears, Naruto turns on the Kurama, mode, directly transforming into a tailed beast. The Nine Tails monster, which is about 100 meters high, stands tall in an instant, on the open grass. Naruto stood in the head of Nine Tails, looked down at the surroundings, and curiously observed the extraterrestrial topography of Chingchu Mountain. Here, the overwhelming exotic flowers and plants can be seen everywhere. The beautiful peaks with overlapping peaks are even more endless. Rivers, mountains and rivers are connected with each other among the mountains, reflecting a beautiful natural beauty. Several freshwater lakes of different sizes are dotted in all directions of the secret place. The towering giant trees about tens of meters high are interlaced in the east, presenting a green ocean. Not far from Naruto is a huge natural open air cave. The exaggerated natural hole seems to be made for nine tails, not too big or small enough for the mother nine tails to enter. Not to mention the nine tails under second generation. Among the sky and the woods, Naruto saw and heard the clear singing of birds and the roaring of beasts. Here, it's like a blessed place of Japanese caves. Then, you can come out now. After observing for a while, Naruto nodded to Kurama and shouted. Three tyrannical chakra coercion appeared, emerged from the body of nine tails who turned into a tailed beast, and quickly separated. Three second generation nine tails quickly manifest their real bodies. Then, there are the third generation, fourth generation, and fifth, sixth, and seventh generation nine tails. The nine tails before the fifth generation just looked around curiously and didn't run around. And six, the little nine tails of seventh generation, the moment they appeared, they couldn't hold back their playful nature, and went to have fun everywhere. This is Chingchu Mountain, which is your future habitat. It is an existence like Mount Myoboku where Bunta is. But here, it is not a cage that binds you. On the fifth generation, you can travel to and from the ninja world by yourself, or be summoned by me. I have only one request to you, do not search for Jinchuriki privately. Naruto looked at the seventeen nine tails of different sizes seriously, and said seriously. These nine tails are a large wave of wool, so Naruto must of course choose valuable and popular characters. Passerby A is definitely not as popular as a character. Naruto, don't worry about that. We all have memories of Kurama's experience, and we don't easily approve of others except those you approve of. By the way, I named myself Chingcho Yuzhao. Quote, second generation nine tails, the first to split off stared at Naruto with red animal eyes, and grinned. Oh, I don't know who it is, but I just said that I will choose Uchiha Seiko to be Jinchuriki. Naruto, my name is Chingchu Yuxi. 
The second second generation nine tails said Chu Yuzao, glanced at the stream not far away, and said calmly. Well, it's just a word taken casually from a stream. You are so convenient. Seeing that Chu Yuxi only changed a word perfunctorily, Chu Yuzao replied unhappily. Then I will be with you, named Chu Yu Jing. The last second generation nine tails flicked its tail casually and said casually. Hearing these three names, Naruto's expression became strange. Yu Zhao, Yuxi, Yu Jing, these three guys are interesting. Then my name is Qingchu Xingchun. My name is Qingchu Xingguang. I'm Qingchu Xingyao. My name is Qingchu Xingmang. The four third generation nine tails also got their names directly. This name made Naruto even more powerless to complain. Everyone has a name, so I will too. Well, that's it, Qingchu Xingyue. Nine Tails, one of the fourth generation Nine Tails, said excitedly watching the lively scene. Then I'm almost as good as you, and I'll be called Chingchu Manchi. Another fourth generation Nine Tails shouted after him. Three Eight Tails version second generation Nine Tails named Yu Zhao, Yuxi and Yu Jing. Four Three Tails version of third generation Nine Tails, named Star, Starlight, Starlight, Starburst. Two Wentai version fourth generation Nine Tails, named New Moon, Full moon. As for the eight fifth generation nine tails, because their strength is too weak, there is no need to remember their names for the time being. 6. Not to mention seventh generation nine tails. Even so, Chingchu Mountain has become the strongest summoning holy place, bar none. I'm going back. Tamamo, I will consider your matter. Naruto put away Karama mode and returned to the ninja world with a single command. At the same time, it also gave the Nine Tails above the fifth generation Nine Tails the authority to travel between Ninja World and Chingchu Mountain. This is the secret realm of summoning in Chingchu Mountain, the ability bestowed on Naruto. What he said before is that I have a summoning secret realm Chingchu Mountain. Aoki Utamamo wants Seiko to be its Jinchuriki, this is also possible. But the time, not now, inside Naruto's room. With a bang, Naruto suddenly appeared on the tatami. Uh, what's the situation? Naruto stared at the little Sakura who was sleeping soundly in his bed with dilated pupils and rapid heartbeat, and was momentarily stunned on the spot. This little girl, why did she come here to sleep? Naruto, Naruto, I'm sorry. I was a little sleepy, so I lay down and rested. Little Sakura was also awakened by Naruto's surprised sound, and said sweetly with sleepy eyes. What are you doing here? Naruto felt a little impulsive in his heart, and asked subconsciously. Didn't you say last time that as long as I am obedient, you will give me a pair of Sharingan? I, I'm ready. Little Sakura's consciousness gradually became clear, thinking of her own reason for coming, shyness flashed on her face, and she whispered softly with her white teeth lightly biting. Of course, this is just an excuse for little Sakura. Her real purpose is to seize Naruto. Although Lousy likes the Tsunade, this brand new tablet delivered to the door is also a good experience. She has already figured out the excuses by herself, so it's not appropriate to take advantage of it and not suffer a loss. Giving it to her by Sharingan will also give you Honkai points. Isn't that the same as prostitution? Don't take advantage of the bastard, do it. Naruto made a quick analysis in his heart, the blazing heat in his eyes flickered, and the idea of borrowing the donkey from the slope. Next day when Naruto opened his eyes, little Sakura had already sneaked back to her room. She was only a young girl. Her natural shyness made her dare not stay here. Tut tisk tisk. The pleasure of tearing the film is really not ordinary. That's what makes Hot Blood Man so good, it's serious and genuine. Unlike previous lives or love daily comics, it properly engages people's mentality. The only pity is that Tsunade or Hanada is not the starting lineup, which is a bit regrettable. Naruto stared blankly at the ceiling, and raised the corners of his mouth, thinking wildly that he got cheap and behaved obediently. Naruto, do you want to go out together to find Sinto? A moment later, Sako's crisp shout sounded outside Naruto's door. Oh, here we come. Naruto is also refreshed now, thinking that it would be good to go shopping, he promised to put on his clothes quickly. After quickly washing up and walking out the door, Naruto's eyes lit up. The transformed little Sakura is now wearing a pink Changsam with a white scarf and holding a small fan, showing a different style. As for Seiko, she wore a black sleeveless top with a leaky navel, matched with a purple skirt and black silk, showing off her proud figure. Moreover, Zuozi also wore a pair of long earrings today, which is even more interesting. This appearance made Naruto, 
who had just played with the new phone, full of imagination and doubts about life. If Seiko had been last night. Hiss. Can't think, can't. If you think about it again, something will go wrong. 